Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at you everywhere bubbling. Eh? You need to tell me the secret. Even your workers, they are all on point. Hmm. My brother, it's just God. It's God. But <clears throat> I'll tell you the secret. I make sure I recruit the best hands, the best brains. Then I treat them well. I give them good accommodation. I provide transportation. And I pay them well. Why would they not perform? Uh, that's super nice. <laughs> and that reminds me, what about your Buddha branch? 100% ready. Wow. Completed. Hey! It's ready. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Hundred percent. I'm just waiting for the Minister for Tourism to give me a date for the commission. Sharp, sharp, yeah. sharp, sharp. Congratulations. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. <laughs> the seventh branch in this country. I'll tell you. What God cannot do does not exist. <laughs> I trust you. Relation, relation. Hey, one minute. Okay, you're still washing the car. You know I'm going out. So my boss says, oh. Okay, sir. I'm almost done, sir. Onye kankene. Ake uchi onwa kebo. Onye kankene. Onwa ne ti lo. Ui. Is what? Ah. Onyo gazi. Eh. Onya mwamba. Ah. Odogu. Hey. I was uh, on my way from Adazi when you called. Adazi. Yes. Mama tada home. Today is the New Year festival. Oh, it's today. Yes. Oh, it was a colorful event. Very wonderful, eh? So much to eat and drink. In fact, I even came back with a fowl. As what you Yes, a friend of mine from Adazi invited me for some event, but um, I wasn't prepared for it. Mm. Next year is another year. Yes, mm. you are correct. Odogu, I ban on a camel god. Oh, yes, you come again. Adokalia! <laughs> thank you, thank you, mm. thank you. The cheese rug. Mm. I sent for you to advise me on a very important matter. I don't know why you and other Ndi Chie are slow in organizing an election for a new Igwe Far community. It's the sole reason I relocated to this village and I have long time made my intentions known to all of you. Why is it not being taken seriously? Or do you want our community to continue without a leader? Yeah, man. No, 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 Ako. Mm -mm. No. See, <clears throat> we cannot. Eh? We are incomplete without an Igwe. It's been two years since our Igwe died. And we are long overdue for a new one. So why did they do I think everything depends on you. If you move our people, they will move. Mm. See, um, for now, Konowu and his inner circle are the ones calling the shots in the community. We should not be so. I don't trust Ono. That's why I always rely on you. So what should I do? Mm. I think um, you should uh, organize a meeting, call a declaration party. Give them enough food and drinks. Something for their pockets. At that party, declare intentions. If I know it Sounds good. It is a good idea. Because once it is done, 
I will now mount pressure on the Ono to uh, convene a meeting of Fundiche where we will now formally adopt you as the Igbo designate. Okwa. And once I'm recognized as an Igwe designate, I will now put together the coronation. Was well. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Um, when do you think I can host this year? Whenever you're ready. I want it immediately, like tomorrow. Um, um, let it be on Saturday, uh, three days from now. So that I will have time to go and meet all the Ichies. Hmm? Hmm. So I cannot have time to organize the food, the drinks. And exactly. Food. Uh, fresh from wine and the stout from the Ichie. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's why I always rely on you. <laughs> uh, uh, you see, um, your father and my father were very good friends. Etua. Hmm? Hmm? And uh, it is good that we continue this relationship in their honor. Well spoken. <laughs> Well spoken. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, um, Ako, I will take my leave. Let me now go and start seeing them. Very important. Mm. I, uh, my regards to your family. I will. I will give. I will. Mm. And, uh... Ako! <laughs> for your fuel. Oh! Nkaka is the Lego fuel, eh? Okay, for what? Ato wako manya, hmm? Umadas na fato ba haya, mwede chiko ngasi daba. Ako. Nangasi. Udo ukebo. Nishoto. Iwe. Iti maga, iti maga. Nalo. I need you to buy these things today. I'm hosting a meeting of Ndi Chie and some elders tomorrow to formally declare my intention to become the Igwe of this town. I want you to buy those things and cook the meal specially and personally because I'm a Nisi. You nearly chala chaka. Opposition is in a window where people. I will be the Igwe Kukalia. Of whom would And you, Ugeze Ugoma Akokalia, if I didn't ma. That's. But, sweetheart, this money won't be enough to buy all these items. Things are very costly these days. Ugoma, this money will be enough. You would even bring back change. Can you imagine? Maybe you will go to the market yourself. Then will you realize that things are very expensive? Wait, why do you men keep thinking that we women are always shortchanging you people? But let's. Ugoma, I don't want to get into argument with you this morning. Huh? Take your driver, go to the market before it gets more crowded. And take her daughter with you so that she will start learning how to do things and how to become a princess. Beyond the kid that rehearsed, but Nifa had to go. Hmm. You know what? Okay, Kibo. As a mangala. Backs of. You know what? I would just buy exactly how your money is worth. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> You are arguing with me now. Yes, my I will never marry a stingy man. Yes, I'm a stingy, but I'm a good man. Eh? You are troubling me over this now, but immediately you become a crazy. Who wants you to make a name? Who wants you to Go back to your parents. You know how you came here. Are you looking to say, you are here? Ne bulu me bu. Ne yezi bonni. Yes, I'm stingy, but uh, I'm a doctor. <laughs> ah, Ugoma. I can find a book, guys. Get out of there. Who knew you Your parents know I take good care of you. It's what I need. We be a bem. 
Anyway, I'll be coming you with very shortly. If I remember. Daddy! Daddy, daddy, daddy! Daddy! Is it true that you, you told mom that I should go with her to the market? What about? Daddy! Hey, you want to turn me into a village girl? I'm tired of this village thing. I want to go back to Lagos. To do what in Lagos? To stay! Is your father or mother in Lagos? I don't need my father or my mother to be in Lagos if I can live there. Really? Yes. Iba at all. <laughs> your mates are now doing their youth service. But no. You're here. Because you couldn't pass your degree exams. Now you are looking for an opportunity to go to Lagos to continue to gallivant with those your lousy friends. This is my fault. This is my fault. It's missing scripts. It is blockheads like you that their scripts are declared as missing. You should be reading for exams now so you can pass. Huh? Let me warn you. This will be the last time I'll pay for somebody to write the exam for you. In fact, I have been an irresponsible father to have somebody sit for exam for you. Huh? That is not fair, it's not fair. You said to be now, brother, you left me here to rot. I want to drive our brother as well. And it's kind of that I want to go. Enough of this nonsense. <coughs> now, go to the market with your mom and buy those things for my meeting. No, 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 no. And let me warn you. Let this be the first and last I'll see you wear this nonsense. If I do, I will fear it off your body. You want to go to Canada so that you will disappear from there. Get out of here. Please. I don't like what people are doing to me in this house. I'll pack my load and leave. It's okay. I don't like what people are doing. If I see you wear this nonsense again, I'll tear it off your, off your body. In fact, I need to do, do a DNA of you. If I have my blood. Can I miss it? Uh, yes, I'll be going to the village next month. Yes, I want to give my mother a befitting burial. Your mother? Mm hmm. But I thought uh, your mother died many years ago. <laughs> I want to give your late mother a befitting burial. Okay, you will not understand. You will not understand. Yes, you know, when my mother died, I had nothing. I was, I was broke. At that time, I. I just did the little I could do. It hurt me so much that I couldn't give my mother a befitting burial. But what could I do? But you know what? I vowed that someday, you know, I'll give my mother a befitting burial. Thank God today I have the money I can do that. So I want to immortalize her name. Wow. Yes, my That's mother. It. My mother suffered so much to raise me. That's a nice one. Hmm? <laughs> Odogu, Odogu. Uh, uh, ekalaka. Eh? Whatever you want, tell me. I will be there for you. Although we have raised so many people. Eh? I can count one or two or three or four or five of the, the your, your guys that you have raised. Let me tell you something. I will go to them. I will go and tell guys. men. Now a man to a memorial funeral of his late mother. Eh? <laughs> we will give you support. You have raised men now. Don't worry yourself. We will give you support. Thank you. So when you say to you, I got my chain, if you, three. Thank you. I know what you can do, Doc. Thank you so much. Thank You're you welcome. so much. Well, first thing I'll do is to finish my house. Okay. Yes, uh, they are roofing it right now. Once we're done, then next will be the burial. Hey, I trust you. I know the kind of edifice you will. You were erect in that village. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> As a ah, one. Okay, okay. <laughs> you keep calling me this name. Is anybody begging me to be king? You deserve to be begged. Huh? You deserve to be begged. Oh. Okay, put a gun on me. Put a gun on me. You deserve to be begged okay. because it's a Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank I'll leave now. It's been a beautiful day. Eh? I can There's no money in this card. What? There's no money in this card. How? Please check it again. There's no money on it, ma'am. Thank you. Hello, my love. 
Yes, hello? You don't sound okay. What's wrong? I'm not okay. I went to pick up a few things from the supermarket on my way back from court. Only to realize that there was no money in the ATM card you gave to me. What kind of embarrassment is this? Ah, well, you should have been checking the balance there. You've had the card for about a month now. Really? Well, you asked me to spend as I wish. Uh, while you are spending as you wish, you'll be checking balance. The money can finish now. So that's what you're saying? Well, you were receiving the alerts in the ATM card. You would have at least told me that the money had finished. Instead of getting embarrassed this way. <laughs> it's okay. Let's, let's not argue. Let's not argue. How much do you need to clear the stuff here? Anyway, don't worry, don't worry. Just hang on. Hang on. Just hold on. Eh? Hold on. Just hold on, hold on, you don't have to. Alright, cool. I just sent you 500k now. So you can sort out whatever you want to buy. Later we'll fix the ATM issue, okay? Is that okay? Maybe. Which one is maybe? Cheer up now, please. Okay, thank you. I'll come and see you later at the office. Alright, take care. Later, I'll sort it out, okay? So sorry about that. Okay. I'll try it now. What is it? Are you going out? What does it look like? Okay. Uh, I told you that I'm going out with your jeep today. To where? Umu Abalawai meeting, of course. Remember? So because of Umu Abalawai meeting or Abalawai meeting, I should not go to the site to inspect my project. Didn't I tell you about that uh, land at Amachara? Didn't I tell you? Oh, you did, sweetheart. It's a big piece of land. They are already fencing right now. I need to be there physically. It's not a small project. 20 acres of land. I understand, but then, excuse me, sweetheart. Now what are we going to do about it? Do what? I mean, your jeep. I mean, the jeep, of course. What about your own car? What? Wait a minute, sweetheart. You want me? to go with that old car? An old car that doesn't have AC to change my color? Come on, this meeting we are talking about is where you will see all those ugly, fat belly women local champions, I mean, hiring G Wagon just for my brother wine meeting. And you want me, the future, Lola of the skin, Take a look at your wife and I'm sorry. Baby, and you want me to go with that old car? Come on. Woman, you have many options. Don't insist on my own car. Baby, maybe you do not understand. I'm trying to protect your image here. And what an image to protect? And you don't have an image. You and I know that. So just go to that meeting if you want to. Let on. You do not have an image. I do have an image no, no. as the future Lolo of this community. Come on. You have not prepared to attend that meeting. I am, sweetheart. Agum. My Ago. You're actually leaving me. What a stingy man. Let me here. I must. Ah! Daddy, 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 daddy,
Stop talking like a foolish girl. Oh, yeah, I'm not foolish, yo. I'm not foolish. I'm a wise girl. I'm not a foolish girl. How can you call your father's home a miserable village? Huh? Don't you know as a future princess of this community, you know how to talk? Daddy, when are you going to become the king? We don't tire. I don't tire. Daddy, try now. Try and be the king so that eh, I can show these small, small village girls what it takes to be a princess. Daddy, you know your daughter. They are dressing like a street girl. <laughs> Daddy, there's nothing wrong with my dressing. I'm at home. I can wear anything I, I feel comfortable in. Say so. Huh? Go and remove that thing before I tear it off your skin. Daddy, I know this style. This is scope. Eh? You want me to forget about this money? Daddy, bring that money. Uh -huh. Bring everything. Bring everything. Hey! 5,000 naira. What am I going to do with 5,000 now? Am I going to enter bike or oh, Kata? Yes, your princess? Sir. Yes, bike is 1,200 Chata. Hey! What kind of a stingy factor is this? Chifakukalia, <laughs> Kalia. Kalia. Uh, Kalia. We're here for a meeting you called. I hope we're not late. Won't you offer me a seat? You can sit down anywhere. Oh, thank you. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Won't you offer us call us? Chifako Kalia. I did not invite you to any meeting. Am I not one of the elders of this community anymore? Didn't you call it for a meeting of the elders? No. I called for a meeting of Indich here. And you are not one. Besides, the meeting is about you and the confusion you are bringing into our community. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? Because you begged me for money and I said no. Huh? You're not constituting yourself into opposition. I did not beg you for any money. If you say that again, I will break your head. Don't you interject when I'm talking. Look at you. Look, I'm a Lagos guy. I'm not like a local champion like you. You don't like me. I don't like you. So stay off my track. I only invited following the chair. To deliberate over an issue, what offense have I committed? So, where are those you invited? Where are they? They did not respond to you because they know you of no use. A flay for cable. Let me warn you for the last time. Don't you cross my path. If you do, Chilako died to go one. These men here are not gentlemen. Idiot. Guys, let's go. a good man. I can tell you that evil and lies can run fast. But I assure you that good and truth will surely overcome and overtake. It's just a question of time. Please, forget whatever you have with that evil man before he harms you. I have only one husband and I am too young to be a widow. Biko, Nam, Biko. Eh? Mokoma. 
depuis que oh, Forget about that man. Please. Thank you, my queen. Thank you for your tender love and care. Thank you. I have heard all you said. And I will do exactly as you say. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. I just finished preparing your food. Please come inside and eat. Oh? Hmm? Let me help you up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Let's go here. Look at the channel. Oh? So I was caught today. <clears throat> Hectic as usual. Mm. All these half baked male lawyers trying to intimidate we ladies. But you know they can't intimidate me because I'm equal to the tax. Anyhow they want it. <laughs> I trust you. If they give you fire, you give them more fire. <laughs> ah, so, um, you said you wanted to tell me something. Yes. Um, <clears throat> same dream I've been having. I had it again. My mother came to me and told me specifically to go to the village and help my people. I don't believe in all those dreams and superstitions. Village people are evil and they must be avoided at all costs. To some extent, I agree with you. But not all village people. Yes. And we can't all run away from the village because of the misbehavior of some people. Oh, no. Only there you go again. Argue with a lawyer. Can't you just humble yourself for once and listen to me? But this is not a legal matter. It's general knowledge. Everybody knows that. Not everybody is bad. <laughs> Fine. It's, it's all right. You can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. But if anything comes out of this village adventure, count me out. Hey. Well, I can't just count you out like that now, my darling. I was hoping you would go with me to the village. So when we're done with what we're doing, we'll go inspect uh, uh, the house that I'm building. A house? Yes. Um, Wait, you're building a house in the village? Yes, I'm building a house. After that first dream, I, I realized I needed to have a base. I mean, a big guy like me, I have houses all over Nigeria. It's somehow for people to say that I don't even have a house in my own village. It's, it's wrong. You're building a house in the village and you didn't even bother to tell your fiancé. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that, I mean... Anytime we talk about village stuff, it gets you upset. So I didn't want to add to your problems with the whole village thing. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's okay. You can do whatever you want to do. You can go to the village. I don't care. I'm staying here in Lagos because I was born and brought up here. It's fine by me. I can go. No, it's not. It's not. Yes. It's not. Yes. Okay. It's not. Let me hear you. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. I plan to get to my village this weekend. Oh, really? Yes, and I'll be needing company. Will you be free? Well, um, Otogwa will be free for you. Anytime, any day. Eh? Thank you. I trust you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I've already sent an advance party to the village to put things in order. Okay, okay. That's nice. Especially security. Yes, so I know the it's it's crazy. A man has to secure himself. Yeah. So the reports I'm getting from there are quite impressive. You know, I've not been to the village in a long while. Very long, so kind of skeptical about this trip. I don't know how it will turn out. Well, let's just get there and see how things turn out. Huh? Whichever way, I know we will always conquer. You know, they treated my mother and I very badly back then. Very badly. I, even though I know there are still good men. It's well, 
you already told me the story. But one thing you should know is that in everything, there is a good side. Without the push, maybe you wouldn't have gotten to the place you are today. Think about it from that angle. Eh? They pushed you, Hacho Bagi, who could do the new one. You are Okay, so we'll get that. <laughs> That's the hospital I was born in. Oh, Still right. standing. Where well, it's not in a good shape though. It was actually built by a matron. If she's still alive, she'll be very old by then. I hope she's still alive. Let's drive in and take a look. Can I do for you? My name is Nemeka Maduka, son of Chikeze and Ezin Nemaduka. And this is my friend Duncan. I was born in this hospital 35 years ago. Really? Yes. My mother told me that you are the matron who delivered me. <laughs> it has been a long time, my son. And I have dealt with so many people that I can hardly remember. I know, I know. Actually, I don't, uh, I don't live here in the village. I've been away for a very long time, for many years. I stay in Lagos. Yes, I was coming back and, you know, on my way back, I, I saw your hospital. It brought back memories, so I decided to you know, stop by. I must commend you, madam. I mean, all these years, you're still running this place, you know, although a lot of things have happened, but you're trying. Still delivering health services to our people. My dear, thank you so much. It is God. We just do our best and leave the rest to God. Yeah. And my mother told me that the day we were discharged, she didn't have money to pay the bills. The nurse insisted that we will not leave until she pays. She couldn't do anything about it because there was no money. You came, you heard what was happening, you wrote off the bill and asked us to leave. I can't even remember because I've done so for so many of our people. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have really done your best. But it can be better. You know, uh, my friend and I, when we walked in, before we came into your, your office, we decided to take a look around. We noticed that the hospital has gone through a lot. A couple of things are no longer in place as they used to. So I made uh, some arrangements for something to get to you. This is a check of 10 million now. Just put your hand there. Cash the money, use it to upgrade some facilities in the hospital. 10 million? For me? Yes, you deserve it, madam. Just put your name and you can cash the check. And I will be supporting him with one million naira. Nah. Yes. Hey! <laughs> Just um, give me a account number before we leave. I will fix that. God. What is happening? <laughs> is this real or am I dreaming? <laughs> hey, God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey! Me! All this for me. <laughs> hey, well, Che! I know. Oh my God. That my ready money. I know it's not far from me. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> when he. It's 
Imani fu go da wu, ike ma go da wu. Onye ma na geme, osi se ne la nyo ne da. Ne me ka wa ma duka, wa ka wa. Ne me ka tika na, o ka wa na mu ro bodo. Do wu na mi le ka go bodo ne wa ni ya. I, I greet you. I, I greet you too. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, can it's me, Nemeka, son of Maduka. Ah, Nemeka, what? Son of Maduka. Which Maduka? Maduka, okay. Eh? Hey! Eh? Uh, Nemeka. Is this you? No one in Namaka now. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Hey, you're, you're welcome, my son. Eh? Uh, meet my friend Duncan. Yeah. You're welcome too. Yeah. No, no. No, no. Okay. Where are you going to? Uh, we are going to know who's house for a meeting. Our Igwe died since three years. And we are yet to have a replacement. Yeah. That is what we are going to deliberate on. I see. That's quite serious. I believe God will help us make a good choice. Amen. Mm. Amen. Hey, Nameka. Nameka. Huh? Um, wh where are you coming from now? Where are you coming from? And where are you going to? N Nameka, who owns all these motors? All these motors, who own them? <laughs> it's it. Uh... Too many questions. Too many questions. Don't worry. I'll answer all of them in the evening. Hmm? I'll come see you in your place. 5 p.m. Hmm? Uh -huh. 5 p.m. I'll come to you. Okay, now. I, 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 I'll be expecting you. Eh? you know hey, none, bro. None. Welcome. Oh, careful. You better have me. You better have me. You better have me. You Hey, <laughs> A quality sale is a pump burger. I'm a boy up. Did you find a guinea better? I'm a boy up. Then there is masquerade or dog. I'm a boy up. Oh, but I get well ago. 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 Hey, <laughs> You know they talk too much. You believe in action. What a great philanthropist you are. What a man you say. They make a one man do care. They make a tigana. More be a diacha. All the evil plans against you. Find them in a kitty. Wow. <coughs> I thank God. Cheer God has blessed me. Yes. Over the years. My 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 years of toiling, my years of hard work. God crowned those years with blessings. Amen. Too much blessings, though. I cannot lie. 
<clears throat> the cars you saw with me, they're all my cars. <laughs> a few of them actually I have more. <laughs> I have chains of businesses with branches in Lagos, Abuja, and Portacot. More branches coming soon. I also do business abroad. When you saw me, I was coming from my house in Lagos, heading to my house in the village here. Your house? Yes. I built a house in Nuneze Kindred. Hold on, please. Are you the owner of the big house everybody's talking about? The only of such house in Nuneze? Yes. Hey! By the grace of God, it's, uh -huh. it's my house. Hey! <laughs> Even a no. Uh -huh. Yes, it's my house. To the glory of God, it's, oh. it's mine, you know? Ibekwe chased out my mother and I and took over my father's property. I had no choice. By the time God blessed me, I didn't want trouble. I just went to the next village and bought land there and built my house. <laughs> hey, who would have believed that the poor Richard in the make of yesterday would have turned out like this? Eh? It's God. Hey. God is just wonderful. The news is everywhere. Mm. What you gave to the metro and the community school, even the microfinance bank of the community. Yeah, it's 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 my style. Yes, I believe in giving. I believe in lifting others. Yes, I believe in helping others. You know, it's quite difficult right now doing business at that low level and still, you know, keep on thriving. Not easy at all. So, if you can get a little push, why not? God will continue to bless you. Amen. God will continue to bless you. Amen. My God will continue to bless you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm blessed you too, sir. Bless you too. You see... I've not forgotten what you did for me and my mother. How you stood by us in our trying time. You know, most difficult time of our lives. You were there for us. Thank you, sir. My dear, it has always been my policy to stand for the truth no matter what happens. I know. Keep it up, sir. Keep it up. Thank you. Hey, so, Chenduka, a little token of appreciation from me. 500,000. Hey, hey! 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 I'm going to get you. I should keep it all. Hey! I'm going to get you. 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 Chi Chi! Chi Chi! Malambu! Pala Biaba Lama Wama 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 Thank you, Nameko. All this for us. All this for us. Chai. All this for us. Wait. 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 You who can it reminds me of my days as a youth. Right. Yes. Money for us. Right. Oh my God. If I can I can I. May you live long. May you live long. So wonderful. I will grab a one number. No. Thank you. Thank you. If I know what won't in a new year. Thank you. All right, I'll I'll go straight to the point. Yes. Yes. I called for this meeting for three reasons. 
first I want to reintroduce myself because I've been away for a while, you know, been away from this village and mm. I left this village under unpleasant circumstances. I believe most of you know this story, but God chose to wipe my tears away. Mm. God has blessed me mm. and for that reason, I bear no grudges. Okay. Yes. Yes. I, I have chosen to forgive and forget. Uh, <clears throat> secondly, I want to thank you all for the way you've been running the affairs of this village, of our community. Our king has been gone for about three years now, without any replacement. But you all here have made sure that everything has been going smoothly. Uh, issues are handled amicably, justly, most importantly, and for that reason, you have my utmost respect. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> Thank you. And third reason, and of course, the last, maybe, <laughs> I intend to give my mother a befitting burial. Befitting burial. My mother died many years ago when I had nothing. And my mother, my mother suffered to raise me. And even while dying, she kept on suffering. At that time, I had nothing. But I made a vow that I was going to give my mother a befitting burial. I did the much I could do at that time. Then I started hustling. And maybe because of my vow, God decided to bless me. Today, I want to give her the kind of burial that a man like me will give to his mother. Because, sitting with you now, by the special grace of God, I am one of the richest young men in this country. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Say it again! Yeah. Say it again! Yeah. It again. That is what it is. I can decide to bury my mother in the southeast. Very high in southwest. Oh, yes. Very high in northeast. So um it will be a grand event. A lot of dignitaries will be coming from far and wide and even outside the country to be a memorable event. So I seek your cooperation and guidance for me to achieve um, my dream. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And God bless you. Uh, mm. no. Thank you. Thank you, our son. And uh, welcome once again. Uh, it has always been our prayers that uh, good things come into our community. And this is one of the best things to happen to our community in a long while. You're welcome. Um, we are so amazed, in fact, astonished. Yes by what you've done for our community hospital, our community school, that school that is totally dilapidated. We have spoken to government over and over and uh, nobody, nobody listens to us. And uh, you just come now and um, have upgraded it overnight. Thank you very much. Not to forget what you've done to our community bank. It has become like um, one of the big banks, but it's a huge deposit we did there. We cannot continue to count. Um, there is so much you have done. Uh, Gago, Garibe, eh? mm? We are indeed proud of you. You are a worthy son of, uh, of Umudim. You are welcome. Uh, as for your mother's burial, ha, trust us to give you the best of our cooperation. Anything you need from us, the Ichis, and the entire community, please do not hesitate to ask. I will give you even extra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. well, on that day, we will show you that uh, indeed you are most welcome back to your community. Umudim. <laughs> So please drink go. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> uh, hello, sir. Zog. Where are you? 
Uh, I'm in a meeting. Is it a meeting called by that small boy? Uh, yes, yes. In fact, I, I, I'm wondering why you know, we even called Austin DJ to attend a meeting with this small boy. This nobody. Very shameful. What is he talking about? Nothing, no. Eh? He's just boasting uh, what he has done and what he intends to do here and there. Oh, what is he saying? What has he done for the community? Eh? Anyway. I want us to see you gently. There's a few, uh, few things to sort out. Uh, let me uh, hang around for some while and then see what he's up to. Okay, okay. Come over immediately. You finish. Uh, I will, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Balenza. And then, uh, Unowu has a little more. Please, don't be jealous. Uh, he's Unowu. <laughs> Please, spend as you like. <laughs> a gift from me to you. Mm -hmm. Spend as you like. Sources that some of you here intend to take new younger wives. I said, You see, you see, you know, I, I found out that once a man starts getting old, he begins to look for younger women to help the system. Pin up, pin up, pin up, pin up. Yeah, so um, if you have such plans, huh, I will support you. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you so-called elders. Why are you so gullible? A Yahoo boy calls you to a meeting to give you money. Instead of asking the source of his money, you start jumping up and down, praising him. You fellow Nemem. Exactly, Ako. That is why I did not touch the money. Yes. Did you ask for the surface with money to be able to spray such money? Did you? They said that uh, it's an uh, importer and exporter. 
and he has many, many hotels. Importer and exporter of what? Silver or gold? Huh? Look at what he's using to confuse you people. A son of a nobody calling you to a meeting and you're attending and you call yourself elders. Uh, Ako, the meeting actually took place in Onowu's house. What's, yes. the, what's the difference? What's the difference? The boy called for a meeting. Onowu hosted it. Onowu at that level. Poor child. Blood money. A small boy whose money has no foundation. Because I go to Kandi the Kamu where the foundation real money. Did you ever ask? And you, instead of concentrating on if they are steak, which is making me an new way, you benefit greatly and graciously from it. I'm disappointed. Um, our Igwe in waiting. We are sorry for that. And such a thing will never happen again in this our community. Umudim. You are already Igwe. Akobaro. Omame is your sorry. Omame. Please. It's already 10 o'clock. Go home, Biko. Go home. Th thank you. Igwe. Uh, good night, sir. <clears throat> you see them walk around. You think human beings are walking around. You don't know it's... They labor. They labor. Dogs. <laughs> You're a good son of this land. Chief Chief. <laughs> I must I must tell you. I like to see younger men do the things you're doing. Uh, we must tell ourselves the truth. When you have achieved in the city, you must come and show your people that you have achieved. And uh, you have done that very well. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> Chief Chief. <laughs> oh, this is a good Chief. Ha. This is also for you. <laughs> um, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Anya my dear. Addition to this one, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, cola. Mm. For you, sir. Um, Pico. <clears throat> I want to use that one over there. And this one, mm. Ascola, mm. to invite you to my mother's final burial rites. Mm. The invitation card will be out soon, and I'll send it over. Mm. Yes, Chief, you're a good man. Yes, a prominent son you know, of our place, and a foremost philanthropist. And he wait in waiting. Oh, <laughs> forgive me, sir. <laughs> I heard. No, I heard. Igwe. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. I have heard so much about you. And uh, I have been expecting this visit. I didn't even know it would come this soon. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I made my name and money in Lagos and then decided to come back to the village to help the community. And I'm very excited and happy that you are following my footsteps. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Well, as they say, curiosity kills the cat. I want to know what kind of business you're into so that we can see what we can do business together. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, sir. That would be very nice. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. <clears throat> I'm into the hospitality business. Yes, I own Tigana Group of Companies, uh, Tigana Hotels, Tigana Clubs. Uh, we have branches in 
Abuja, Lagos, and Port Harcourt. Other branches coming to you. I'm also into real estate. I buy houses, I buy estates, I buy lands, I develop and I sell. Yes, I'm also into exotic wines. Yes, I produce wines as well. Good, good ones. Ezibo, 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 Yes, and so many other things. So many other things. And you achieved this all in your young age? It's God. This God must be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's just God, though. It's just God. You know, anytime I come back home, I try to encourage our people. Yeah. You know what they say? We rise by lifting others. Yeah. Yes. Just as you have been doing. It will not be good, you know, for it to be just me and you doing well in the community. We need to raise more people. Uh, you know, the more uh, people who can do the things we do, the better for our community. <laughs> Very well. I'm very well thought out. I will attend the funeral. Ah, thank you, sir. And uh, I'll come with my fellow Igwe's. Just make sure you prepare well for us. I'm equal to the task. I know. <laughs> <laughs> From this, I know. <laughs> yes, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be ready for you. Okay. Thank you so mm. much mm. for the warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you for mm. Because I permit us, we have to be on our way. Yes, yes. yes. I'll be leaving uh, for Lagos tomorrow morning. Um, I wish you a safe trip when you are going. Uh, make sure you keep in touch. I will. Like you said, we rise by lifting all that. Yes. Uh, very important. Imani fu godogu ige ma godogu onye ma no geme osise de la nyo ni da de me ka won ma ka wote wo de me ka tika na o ka won na mo lo godogu na mi le ka go godogu ni won yo o mo tip kingdom o mo tip kingdom mo ka won godogu hey won a yesu o ma le won a yesu o bo de godogu Hey, <gasps> so you're the Tigana I've been hearing about. My goodness, you look so good. Thank you. Well, my name is Adora. I'm the princess of this community. I'm actually a Lagos big babe. Too bad my father brought us down here because he wants to be king. And it's been nearly two years and nothing has happened. I really need to move on with my life. Sorry, not to bore you with my talk. How can I meet you later? <laughs> okay, I'll be leaving for Lagos tomorrow morning. But I'll definitely return for my mother's final burial rites. So maybe we'll see when I get back. Okay, that's fine. Okay, can I have your number so I can chat to you privately? Thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to chat to you. Please reply. Get inside. Get inside. If your father catches you here, he will skin you alive. Oh! <laughs> Strong man. Hmm. You know, you didn't do well. Those things you brought, you just brought them for my husband. My husband is blessed with stinginess. Believe me, he would not give me a dime from those things you brought. So, <laughs> I'll do not be embarrassed. Ah, you are indeed a strong man. I go. Hurry up, huh? There you go. Woo! Thank you. I will manage this. I will. Thank you very much. 
run along. <laughs> Hey, baby. Don't leave me. What's the meaning of this? The meaning of what? These are the particulars of the car you claim to have bought for me. Of course, I can see. Whose names are those particulars? <laughs> My name. Your name. And you claim to have bought the car for me. Later on, your friends will start boasting that you bought the latest Benz for your fiancé. Not knowing you bought the car for yourself and just allow me to use it. I don't believe this. Is this how to welcome me back from the village? How am I supposed to welcome you? Did we not speak on phone? You just bought this car for me shortly before you left the village. And I did not have enough time to go through it. I'm just so disappointed. Why are you being disappointed? You did not buy this car for me. I'm a lawyer and I know the implications of this. You can legally take the car away from me when we have issues in the future. What is wrong with you? Are we planning to have issues? Huh? Are you planning to have issues with me? The car is yours. It doesn't matter. You can decide to do change of ownership. It's your car. And why would I go through the stress of change of ownership when you would have just bought the car in my name? Chris, I don't believe we're going through this. Listen to me, my love. This is not an issue. Alright? It's your car. This is not going to be the only car I'll buy for you. I'll still buy bigger cars for you. It doesn't matter if it's in my name or yours. It's your car. Okay, fine. I'll explain. I, I, I got many cars, alright? Some buses were supposed to come in. And then your car as well. I think the problem is from the dealer. He mixed it up. He put your own name in the, the papers of the bus. I can send for the papers so you see and confirm. <sighs> I don't believe I'm going through this. I don't believe I'm going through this. Baby, I understand. It's just that I'm scared. I'm afraid. This, this, this was exactly what happened to my mom. My wicked dad took everything away from her when they got divorced and left us stranded. I, I just don't want to go through, through what happened to me before again. I don't want to. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry now. I said I'm sorry. Hmm? I didn't mean to make you sad now. Baby. Right. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But baby, I see no reason why I should attend this barrier. We're not married yet. My darling, don't say that. You're my fiance. I need you. I mean, if there are legal things to handle, you'll take care of them and other things as well. I'm going to have a lot of billboards all over our village and beyond. The responsibility will be huge, so I need you. Well, is it not just a barrier? You're making it seem as if it's a wedding or a carnival or something oh, big. Yeah, it's going to be more like a carnival for my mother. Big stuff. Okay, I'm going to attend. Because I know you're very sensitive when it comes to issues of your mom. But I will come as a visitor, nothing more. And I won't want to repeat of what happened in the past. And what was that? My ex, he used me as a poster girl to get favors from ministers. And he later ended up marrying a secondary school local girl. So men are just so wicked. I'm not like that. Not like that. It's okay, I'll, I'll come. Just to make you happy. I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I will not approve of that kind of thing. It is irresponsible to throw money like that in public. Mm. It is against the laws of this land. I can get him arrested and prosecuted for financial crimes. Yes, I can do it. Exactly. Huh? Hey, Nanuwa. Huh? Is he the only person that has ever made money? Oh, yeah, who money? There's nobody who makes his money legitimately who spends it like that. They said that is his friends that uh, spend the money, not him. Ah, Koko. Walk home to primary school. Call off and have a girl. Eh? Yes, tell children. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Uh -huh. I call them. Eh? What kind of thing is this? Take a look at all those people that came there, all those men. Small, small boys. Eh? Do they look like people who suffer like us to make money? And I cannot see you throwing money in the air and you want us to clap for them. It's all. Hmm? My problem is that he is influencing the youth negatively. Eh? When they see this kind of spraying, they become something else, desperate and want to belong. And that's what listen to Yahoo Yahoo or Money Ritual. <laughs> Influencing them very negatively. Eh? After who do you blame? No. Something has to be done urgently. In fact, I will do something urgently. If you want to call it far. And you put it in it. A small boy like that, how can he be how can he be influencing the youth negatively? And the uh, government uh, was watching. You if I only you remember here, you go on arrow. Don't say I thought you are smart. You mean you went to that burial just to pick money? A princess like and you? Mommy, I'll be forget about that princess matter. See money. In the next 10 years, can you and dad give me this kind of money? Hmm? Mom, I beg, I beg. I want to cancel my money. I'm very happy. <laughs> Let me cancel my money. Mommy, who knows? I might become a billionaire over tight. Billionaire? <laughs> over people's money? <sighs> the money you and dad are boasting about, is it your money? You think I don't know? Dad sold the community land and properties. Mommy, please, oh. Hey! Just shut up your dirty mouth, you rebellious child. When someone speaks the truth, they become a rebellious child. But no problem. Mommy, if you want to can't, can't. If you want to go, go. But remember, if you don't can't, nothing for you. Eh? As I'm here, I'm, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Hey! Nothing for me. Money! Let me hold on. Shoot, shoot. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Boss my head! Mommy, see money! See money! My hand is paining me, I cannot cut the game, no! <laughs> you really look like your mother. Take it easy. To be a king is not a daughter. Chifa Kukalea. Guy man. Take it easy. To be a king is not a daughter. Chifa Kukalea. Chifa Kukalea. Take it easy. To be a king. Adora, what is this nonsense I hear about you picking money at the funeral yesterday? Me? Adora, pick money? That's not possible. You stop lying before I deal with you. But I didn't do anything of such. Who is this? <laughs> okay. Daddy, you're just an harmless phone. <laughs> what kind of stupid harmless phone is it? How could you reduce yourself to such level? A princess? Don't you know this could cost me the throne? Do you know the source of the money you picked? You don't know that's how all these devilish small boys use girls like you for rituals? I'm sorry, Daddy. I, I didn't mean to offend you. Now go and bring the money. All of it. Daddy, there's no money. I gave out all the money to some less privileged kids I, I saw at the ceremony. I didn't come back with any money. Liar. If I don't get that money, 
Else! Calm down, sweetheart. Calm down. She did not come back with any money. Believe me. In fact, that was what I was discussing with her before you called. Do you know one woman called me telling me what our daughter did for her own child? Our daughter gave her child 3,000 naira at the funeral. Yes, that yes. I, I, I gave out all the money. Hey, Daddy, I saw some young boys, eh? Your village young boys, they were dancing around with some masquerade. They started entertaining me. I just enjoyed it. And I started giving them the money. It's good to give, Daddy. Very good to give. <laughs> Last time you tried to disgrace me in public, I will first of all disgrace you from the house. Get out of the way from here. Like mother, like daughter. Take it easy. To be a king is not a daughter. Um, Sino, my name is Alberto. And Uwaya is my younger brother, Frank. And that's my friend, Ikenna. Ikenna, my name. We are your brothers from this town. We admire you a lot and the progress you've made in business. Your name is everywhere, spreading faster than wildfire. Um, we have come to you to ask for a favor. Nice. You know, um, other people come to you for money. But, but we are not here for money. At all. We are here for you to show us the way, how to make big money like you. That's why we are here, senior. So we want you to help us. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh. We're from the same place, hmm? same town, makes us brothers. The way I know is very simple. Identify your strength, find what you're good at, and keep doing it. Focus on it, right? Don't give up. Most of all, be good to people and believe in God. Your time will come. Um, Senor, that's true. But as a matter of fact, we've identified our strengths. But it's not really working the way we expected. Most times when a deal is about to mature, then but I will suddenly become wise, I will pay. Sometimes the EFCC and police disturb the flow of our business. So that's why I've come for you to help us as a senior man in the field. Oh yes, senior man. Last month, they raided our camp and seized all our phones and laptop. We paid through our nose to get those things back. Exactly. Hmm? They even flashed our phones before giving them back to us. So, so that's why we are here. That's why we are here to, for you to show us how to protect ourselves. Can we blow the hook again? I've listened to you. And I think I understand where you people are coming from. I understand what you want me to do for you. And I I now know what you do for a living. Yahoo. Yeah, You know, as a matter of fact, that's the trendy business now. Mm. Yes. It's trendy now. It's go, go. But it's fraud, actually. It's, it's, uh, it's 419. Sometimes uh, you people make it look like it's legit business and give it all sorts of funny names, but it's fraud. Fraud is fraud. It's 419. It's fraud. Uh, it will be good for you people to listen to me. I took my time to listen to you. You're my brothers, my younger brothers. So please listen. I don't do fraud. Yes, I'm not into Yahoo. I'm not into any kind of business that will attract the attention of the police or the EFCC. No, I'm not. I own Tigana Group, Tigana Group of companies, uh, Tigana Hotels, Tigana Clubs. We have branches in Portacot, Abuja, and Lagos. I'm also into importation of goods. I import different goods and sell. And I, I'm into wines as well, exotic wines. I'm into different businesses, but all of them 
are legit. All my businesses are legit. I don't do things that will make the police come after me or EFCC. I don't do rituals. And I'll tell you, when you people go to do these things, you do you know, rituals and all that, ask the uh, native doctors, ask them why, why are they poor? Their children should be richer than all of you, but it's never like that. It means those things don't work. Right? So that's what I do. Like I said before, identify your strength. Focus on it. Keep doing it. Keep working hard. Believe in God and keep helping people. Your time will come. A big alanga alanga. I know you can still help us. Eh? Because we see now, yeah, can I see from point zero, we get to point seventy-five. At least, can I solo me in the mife? Eh? We know you can at least help us. But can I have one name, Odogu? Odogu have no guy name. Oh yes. Well, I'm willing to help you people. Like you said, you're my brothers. And if if you know me very well, you know that I. I help people for a living. You know, I believe in raising others. That's, and that's, that's, that's me. But you must be ready to serve. I served my boss for seven years. Then I learned the business. So you want to be with me, you must be ready to serve. And be ready to do legit business, like I said. Clean business. Then again, my company um, will be recruiting. Yes, we have vacancy for jobs, so... If you're ready, send in your CVs. We have spaces for marketing managers and all that. So, in fact, now you've met me. It means that once your qualification is intact, you have the jobs. I'm a senior from all education. You are trying to hide your things from us. We know you. My name is you. I'm a man standing by and passing by the move. You feel charge and do it. Dori me. I'm a local manager for civil servants. My name is you. You need to go back and get I'm calling to report a crime to your commission. Did you see what this young man, Tigana, did in my town recently? Why is he not arrested by now? His money is legitimate? Says who? Who investigated it? Your chairman was present at the event? Really? Uh, then I don't have need to talk to you. Thank you. Chinigeme. The head of a crime fighting agency attending an occasion organized by a criminal? But this country, this country is finished. This country is finished. Give him the Yeah. Very good, you go everywhere. Take it easy. Small From the look of things, the issue of making a kokalia digwe must be reconsidered. Hmm. I, I've been thinking so too, uh, but the question is, uh, who will do it? Akukalia has bought over all our elders. So, if the matter comes to a vote, who will vote against Akukalia? You, besides you and I and Okaf, who else? Don't be too sure. From what Nemeka has done, and he's still doing for our community. Mm. No right thinking person would consider Akukalia for Igwe. Mm. Akukalia has clearly shown that he is just a Shylock trying to milk our people dry. Mm. 
He is not yet Igwe. But he is annexing our community land. So what happens if he becomes one? Oh no, your guess is as good as mine. Hmm. Look, uh, this matter is on the lips of everybody in this community. But the question is, how do we approach it? How? How do you prevent Akokala from becoming the Igwe? It looks very difficult to me, if not impossible. It is not impossible. The only foreseeable problem is if Namika will even accept or be interested in becoming the Igwe. Mm. Besides, he is not married. Mm. The issue of marriage to me is not a major hindrance. Yes, our tradition does not specify that an Igwe designate must be married. Although it is better that he is. You are correct. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Mm. So the so major challenge is, is if Nemeka will even accept, accept to be Igwe. Right. It's a major one. It's a major challenge. That young man seems to like you a lot. You can say that again. He respects me a lot. I tried so much to defend him and his mother when Let Ibekwe was maltreating them and eventually sent them away. Mm. So that explains it. That really explains it. Um, I, I, I know they went through so much trauma. Oh, Ibekwe. So, why don't you talk to Nemeka about this matter? Hmm? Yes. Why don't you go to Lagos, sit him down, and explain this matter to him, that we need him as our Igwe. Explain the implication of having Akukalia as our Igwe. Let us save our community from future disaster by getting Akukalia out of the way. And the only option we have is that young man, Nemeka. Don't worry. I will provide the logistics for the trip. And I will stand by you every step of the way. But you know, by virtue of my position as they know, I cannot come out in the open. I'm supposed to be neutral. Think about it. We can do it. We can save this community from future disaster by getting Akukale out of the way. Nemeka seems to be the only one. Take it easy. To be a king is not a door. Chief Akukale. Guy man. Take it easy. Alright, Daddy. I'll see you later. Where are you going to? Daddy, I'm going out. I want to chill with my friends. Go back inside. Daddy, why? I just want anger with my friends. I'm spending my money. It's not like I'm asking you for money. Get back inside. Daddy, I want to hang out with my friends. Call them and tell them that he says you should be indoor. Oh, Daddy, I want to hang out with my friends, Daddy. Really addressed. You are in bulletin bag. Daddy, you know, you know you're you're an old man. I'm younger. I need to look good. You know I'm your princess, Daddy. So I'll see you later, Daddy. I have to look good for you, Daddy. See you later. I love you, Daddy. You're welcome, my brother. Oh, thank you, Nemeka. So good to have you in my office. I'm happy to see you again. <laughs> After the last time you visited. Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> thank you, our worthy and illustrious son. We will go straight to the point because I know you don't have the luxury of time. Our people are about to make Chifakokalia 
the Igwe. And if that happens, Namika, we are done for. We are done for. Akokalia is a wicked man. He wants to use the position of the Igwe to oppress and subdue our people rather than uplift our, our people. No has to come with me. Because our people say that the snake seen by one person easily becomes a python. I'm going to ask you to go to the phone. I'm going to go to the That's why I had to... It's part of the fact that by virtue of my office, I'm supposed to be neutral on such matters. But this is very important to us. That's why I volunteered to come along with him. Uh, <coughs> I've heard about Akukalia. Chief Akukalia. Yes, I have. I've heard about him. And I'm just wondering what can be done about the situation. But you people are the elders. Uh, kingmakers, stakeholders. Can't you refuse making him king and choose someone else who is worthy? That's exactly why we are here. Oh, good. Good. So such a man uh, shouldn't be king. Uh, at all. At all. A greedy man. No, no, no. I don't support him. Uh, show me any man you feel is worthy. You know, a good man who has leadership qualities, you know, who will lead the people right. So I'll, I'll give him my support. I promise. The good news is that we have chosen someone else. Oh, great. <laughs> sure. mm. So who is he? Um, that new person whom we consider to be worthy to be the Igwe of Umudim. That person is seated right here with us. In this my office? Yes. You should have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Nuka is the new king. You should have told me. <laughs> Nemeka. Nemeka. Hmm? That somebody else we have chosen is none other than you. Of course. Yes. You, Nemeka Maduka, is our chosen candidate. Me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You must be joking. Jo joking? How can we come all the way from Alibo to Lagos to joke? I Lagos. Is it that we are joking? We are not joking. We are serious. Oh God. Uh, Nemeka, listen to me. We have the consent of the most worthy of Ndiche and the elders yes. to consult you on this matter. And the understanding is that the moment you say yes, Chief Akukalia ceases to be a candidate yes. for the position of Igwe. Take this very seriously. Unfortunately, I say no. Sorry to disappoint you, but I say no. It's not my thing. Find someone else. Huh? A good man. Someone who has you know, the knowledge of how these things work. A good man with leadership qualities, someone who resides in the village and understands the workings. Point uh, you know, at that person and say, this is the man. I'll, I'll support him. Believe me, I will. But for me, no, come on. God has blessed me with you know, talent for business. He's given me the grace for what I'm doing. And that's what I want to keep doing. I don't want to confuse myself with something I know nothing about. So from my side, I say no. Don't give us a wrong no now. Okay. It's everything. Hey, no. Ebo yi kwe na na. Ebo yi na na. Um, um, listen to me, listen to me. Don't ever call my number again, okay? If you don't have anything good to say, don't call me. I don't have time for silly conversations. Don't call me again. Ah. <sighs> oh, cast niggas. Hello? Who is this? Who? Oh, who's this? It's Odinaka, your baby. Oh my god! Odinaka, you're back? I flew into Lagos yesterday. And right now, I'm in the village. You mean you're in this village? Just to see you. <laughs> you can't beat that. 
Oh, you're so romantic. I love you, baby. I love you so much. So tell me, where are you right now? Um, you know, you know this new hotel in town, La, La Visco? That's where I am. Okay, I'll be with you. I'll be with you right now. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see you. I got to your favorite. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Don't worry, I'll be with you in a jiffy. I know, I know. I miss you so much, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um... Oh my goodness! Ah! Oh, Saka is back! Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh! Wow, 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 wow! I'm coming down. We're going down. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> what is it? Mommy, I am so happy. You know, I feel like I'm on top of the world. All right. Now tell me, I can see it. What's going on? Mom, you know this American guy I told you about? He just arrived. Yes. Hold on. The one from this town. Yes, Odinaka. He came all the way from America to see me. Now let me tell you this. Mommy, we met on Facebook. And then we started chatting. Suddenly he said, he's in love with me. You know, but I was like, one of the usual lies that guy is there. But then... He's here! He came all the way from America to see me! Hold on. And you are dressed to go and see him? Yes, Mom. To see him? Of course! Like this? <laughs> I hope you are wearing panty panty. Mom! <laughs> now calm down. Why don't you ask him to come over to this place instead? Oh, um, Mom, no, 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 no. So that daddy will embarrass him for me. No, let me go see him face to face. And then after. Adora, I need you to be very careful. Should anything happen to you now, it is me that your father will blame. Yes. <laughs> Mommy, nothing will happen to me. All the places I've been going to, did you escort me? All right, all right, all right. Chill. You don't sound like you are too desperate. Come on. Girl. Yes, Mom, I am desperate. And he is desperately in love with me. Oh, I am such a lucky girl. Adora. Ah, God. You will not leave this house like this, oh. Mommy, are you going to tie me? Ah! <laughs> my bag, my bag, my bag. <laughs> I'm coming. Adora, you are too much. Babe, where's Sabi? Ah, I'm such a lucky girl. Oops. Okay. Let me snap a selfie. Oops. <laughs> I look so good. Oh, okay. Here I come. There's a general saying that you don't come to the house of a king 
empty handed. So I came with this. Thank you. Thank you. So, whose son are you? I'm the son of Chief Mbakwe from Umuda. Mbakwe. Umudara. The one who used to trade in Aba and later moved his business to Lagos? Yes, yes, sir, you're correct. Ah, very hard working man, Isbo Mado. Ah, and you live in America? Yes, I've been in America for a while now. That's wonderful. Huh? You and my daughter are a perfect match. <laughs> yes, you see, when we were in Lagos, many men, engineers, doctors, Lawyers, architects, we are coming for her hand in marriage. But I said, no. She must marry from our stock. Ah. Because I knew Abundibo were a special people. <laughs> yeah? And it has happened like that. <laughs> ah, thank you very much, Chief. I, myself and your daughter, we really love ourselves genuinely. I see. <laughs> well, it's uh, like I said, it's wonderful. Huh? It's... um. A thing that uh, is approved. You have my consent already. Because, see that, my daughter. Yes, sir. She's a beauty queen. Mm. Very wonderful. If I be to you and me, you know, as men, anytime they come to look at, look for her here, I don't allow all these antelopes and elephants to corrupt her. She's still a virgin. So you are a very lucky man. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy, Chief. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? You are going to be. Are you not aware you are going to be the son-in-law of the Igbo of the town? She could be that. Uh -huh. She could be that. Do you know what it means to be married to a daughter of an Igwe, yeah. a princess? <laughs> uh, but you see, mm, you have to be very fast. Each time I'm coming out of this premises. I will see cars, exotic cars parked. On your governor, John. Adora, Marco Kalia. So, uh, this uh, goods, non aside. If you waste time, on your Zewelia, Emengua, Emega Lord, that you. No, I won't do that. <laughs> uh, Chief, see, I will call with my family, the King's men, in two weeks' time. Uh, I believe that is. That is not it's much of time. Emengwa, um, may allow that you must be fast about it. My daughter was on a site. Thank you very much, <laughs> Chief. <laughs> you go to Lazy Wife and Abem. Thank you, Chief. Mm. Mm. This, um, it's good to know that young people like you are doing well in America. You have to talk to your daughter seriously. If she allows this golden opportunity to miss, <laughs> it will be like the proverbial snail picked by the blind man. If she misses this young man because of her bad character, she will remain in this house with you and me forever. My daughter doesn't have a bad character. Sorry. Like mother, like daughter. Oh, like daughter, like father, you mean? Why is it that when a child is bad, automatically it will become her mother's fault? But when that child is good, oh, is her father's. That is your business. I have done my bit as a father. They saw her, I praised her, packaged her, promoted her. That even the devil was saying, is that Adora they are describing? I played my part very well. If she goes there to expose herself, she will come back to you. Oh, to die, praise it, yeah. I've heard you. Thank you. Now listen to me. There's something I want to tell you. Very important. You know, this world we're living is full of 
evil and envy. Please keep this information low, as low as possible. All right? Yeah, you know, till he finally marries you. That's it. You know, your fellow girls, those hovering around you, claiming to be your friends. Before you know it, they would want to take this man away from you. And I wouldn't <laughs> want that. Mom, no damn girl can try that. Take my Odinaka from me. Did you know how I got him? Well, oh, come on. Well, I'm just trying here to give you motherly advice. Mm. They gossip a lot here. Believe me, before you know it, you know, they will start telling him this and that about you and I wouldn't want that. Mom, mom, mom. You're right about this. You won't believe that stupid girl, Adana. She has been asking me silly questions. Hey, Holania. <sighs> Have you seen it? Did you tell me this before now? Oh. Which is why you need to be very careful. Extremely careful. It's okay, mom. I'll keep it on the low until I get the ring. And then, they will know that Adora has a right. Mama. They will not say level, past level. Mama. Mama, you know your daughter now. I see the horse. I trust you. <laughs> keep talking to him nicely. Be nice to him. You know what I'm talking about. It's okay, mom. Just, you know, uh, do not boast of anything. Uh. Don't. It's okay, mom. It's under control. And I wouldn't want you to argue with him. Not just like the way your father used to argue with me. <laughs> mom, no problem. I will handle him. Mom, what is you it? know I love you. I love you much more. You are a good mother. Say it again. <laughs> You're a good mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take this one, eh? Take Obodi. Odinaka gave me $4,000. That's like more than what my stingy dad has given to me my entire life. Goodness! Don't mind your stingy daddy. Hold on, hold on. 4000 US dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nekute 4000 Yes! <laughs> and you're just giving me this? Oops. My daughter, can't you see? You look somehow like your father in stinginess. Okay, I think I'll have to take it back. Oh, no. no, give me back. But no. Have you seen this kind of money before? Has your stingy husband ever given you this sort of money? Do not mind your daddy. I told you he's blessed with stinginess. Stingy. Super stingy, mom. Extremely, and you look like him. <laughs> Anyways, have mm. forgiven dad for coordinating himself the way he did in presence of Odinaka. Mom, I was super surprised. Like, he said so many nice things about me that I am a good girl. But that's how it should be. I'm a good girl. You are indeed a good girl. You are just like your mother. <laughs> you know, in beauty, stinginess, like your Mom, I'm not stingy. Mm. You know what? If you keep being good, more dollars for you. I mean, don't be like that. Get out. That man is stingy. Dumping anyone. Our relationship is no longer working, and you know it. How is the relationship not working? Tell me! Oh, oh, oh! So, because I refuse to serve you as a housemaid, therefore the relationship is not working, right? It's not a problem. We are not compatible, alright? We don't share the same values, we don't share the same thinking, we don't, we don't share anything, nothing, and then we quarrel virtually all the time, every day. Okay, look at it right now. We're just coming from a function. Okay, it's supposed to be a romantic function for couples. But look at what you're doing. You're already nagging. You're quarreling. Can we just end this thing before somebody kills the other person? No problem. If you're going to break up with me, you're going to compensate me with at least half of your net worth for wasting my time. Excuse me? Half of what? Yes, you heard me right. Half of my, my, my net worth? What are you talking about? Are we married? Oh, so we have to be married before you compensate me. Right? I know the law. There's no such compensation for a fiancé. 
There isn't. I built this business with you. And you think you can just throw me out? Excuse me. What business are you talking about? My business or your father's business? Huh? Let me remind you, Quinn, that before we got close, before we became intimate, you were my, my, my legal advisor. And every legal work that you did for my company, you were paid up till this moment. Never owned for one day. And then I bought you a car worth over 10 million naira. Is it a lie? I've been paying your very high rent, high maintenance. It's not a monument. What the, what the bloody rubbish are you talking about? This is enough. You want to break up with me, right? Yes. You want to break up? Fine. Just stop recounting those nonsense. Just, that's enough. I'm done. was never going to work. We are so incompatible. There's no way I'll live with this for the rest of my life. There's no way I'll live with this all the days of my life. It's better she leaves. Let her go. Make a dance, oh, dance, make a dance. 
Amen. <laughs> going on? What is going on? Where? How? Wait, you're not aware that Odnaka is back from America? <laughs> you must be joking. Enough of this joke. My own Odi. How can Odinaka come back and I didn't know? <laughs> you must be joking. As I speak to you now, Odnaka is getting married to Akokaria's daughter. That's we what Adora. Kilichi. <laughs> Tell me it's not true. You, you're joking, right? Oh. You think I came here to joke? I will leave my house to come here and joke with you. I was passing by and I overheard noises from Akukalia's compass. So I decided to go and check what was happening. Wait. Let me show you something. Is this... Is this not Adnaka? I'll be there now too. Kelly, this is my Adnaka. This is Adnaka, Kelly. Wait, you're not aware? Kelly. I'm even as confused as you are. Kelly, wait. Kelechi, come back. Come back. Come back. Kelechi, how are you going to do Kelechi. So after this, in Odinaka, I'm waiting for him for seven good years. Odinaka left me and marry another girl. Simply because she's a rich man's daughter. I am a daughter of a nobody. Don't say that. At all, man. Oh, God. Tell me, why did God give me the burden that I cannot carry? Why? God has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. He has everything to do with it. How oh, good. Why now? I understand her. <laughs> but you know, this life is not really as sweet as oh, God. Hmm? Listen, 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 look at me. God is preparing something for you. What can God simply be preparing for me? I have lost all the chances I have. You I have lost it. Oh. You have not <laughs> I will always be here for you. <laughs> I did it with Naka. After they did him, right? I even gave him money that he traveled with. And this is all I've got. This is it, right? This is it. I just pray that God would get me out of this thing. I am tired. I'm tired. Why me? Why me? Okay. Why would Naka do this to me? Tell me why. Kelechi, do I deserve this? You don't. Deserves I don't deserve it, right? Okay. So why did he do it to me? Why? Why me? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Did I do anything to him? <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for the call. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the call. Uh, my brother, or better still, my son, please do not be offended that I'm back to you on the same issue. Our people say that we are a child is crying and pointing fingers. If his mother is not there, his father must be there. You will not like what will become of our town if Akukalia becomes the next Igwe. You will regret not accepting this offer. Akukalia is a wicked man. In fact, a direct opposite of you. Uh. 
I, <sighs> I, uh, I don't even know what to say. I've already received Akokalia's invitation card. And if I'm not mistaken, the <laughs> ceremony should be holding in maybe a month or so. So, <laughs> uh, how do we change things? What, what's this talk about? Akokalia can distribute invitation cards even to the president. But we are to decide if it will happen or not. Hmm. Oh. <coughs> it's you, Nuka. I know you like me a lot. And of course, I, <laughs> I like the fact that you like me and you would want me to become king. But let's be realistic. Before a man like Akokalia would go ahead and start printing cards and sharing to different people, there must have been an agreement between him and the kingmakers, you know. The, the, the elders, and um, in you as a person, no matter uh, how much you want to change things, it's virtually impossible. <laughs> On my own part, I don't live in the village. I've never been king. I don't understand, you know, how the workings of the palace and all these things. So, how, how do we, how do we do it? That is why people like us are there. We will teach and guide you on the tenets of Igbo institution. You already have the personality, the large heart and the goodwill. As for not living in the village, that is not a problem at all. Many Igwes are residing outside the communities. It's not like before where you must be on ground always. I can give you some examples of Igwes that are operating from where they are. Igwes Oranya resides in Abuja. Igwe Okaname stays in Lagos. Igwe Omeko, who is in Kaduna, they still coordinate the activities of their communities from there. That's not going to be a problem. Igwe, Igwe, the Kaduna was always we Igwe. Yeah. How, 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 I'll think about it and get back. Hmm? Of course. I'll think about it. Of course. It's just there, uh, there, there's no, no time again. I'll think about it. Akwilili, <laughs> Ochora, Omenam O Mokoma. Yes, I'm very well, my friend. <laughs> I will soon join your league of uh, Ndigwe. Yes, I'll be crowned in about three weeks. <laughs> Everything is fine, it's going on very well. I'm just calling to inform you before I send an invitation. <laughs> yes. It's always good making it in the city and coming to rule over them in the village. <laughs> yes. I'll be expecting you on that day. Yeah. <laughs> But I believe we're gonna back club. All right. Dalo, okay. Dalo. You know my number. You go my back club. Hey, oh, oh, dig when I'm done. I'll be expecting you. Bolo crab be here. I do job with the club. Baby, baby, baby. Thank you. Take a look at this. I know you've got eyes for good things. What about this? Isn't this dress beautiful? It is. Well, a friend of mine wants to buy it for me from London. It's for our coronation. But I've already bought clothes for our coronation. I do not like that dress. No, it makes me look old. I do not want to get old. All right, sweetheart. Listen, I want to be a yuppie lolo. I do not want to get old. Come on, believe me. Why don't you get back to your mama's belly and become like Nicodemus, be born again. Start afresh. What do you mean by that, honey? You bought three different clothes for yourself. 
You are a man. What do you need it for? And you bought just one miserable dress for me. The very one that makes me look like an old woman. Mbano. But you are an old woman. I am not. I can back one one now. Ugoma. I am the one to be crowned, not you. If you want new clothes, buy with your money. Story! Story! More. I have already sent Ngozi to buy the clothes for me and you are going to pay. Iga Uguya. Aspiring, stingy, Igwe. Whether you like it or not, it will see very fast. Foolish woman. It's your foolishness that caused you to give me those children. Your son is abroad speaking for me. Can't pass one exam. Your daughter has gone out. Thank God the man who doesn't know her came to collect her. Any day he comes here to complain. I think the best thing that can happen to me after this coronation is to take a new wife. Somebody can take care of me in a massage. No disakali obori. Ula wuse gonanya. Don't even know who you are. Your people won't work. You got the wine in a way in the other kanka. Be a yopia. Hello. Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. You don't look cheerful. I hope all is well. All is not well, Akukalia. Did anyone die? No. Nobody died. But um, something just happened. Yes. Ezemo came to my house this morning and delivered an unpleasant message concerning the coronation of a new Igwe. What did he say? Ezemo said that um, the occasion should be suspended indefinitely. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I asked him the same question and he said even him did not know that uh, this was a message he got directly from the gods. He went ahead to say if we doubted him, we could go ahead and uh, crown a new king and bear the consequences that follow. Oh no. Do you know the preparations I have put in for this occasion? Do you know the entire Eastern Region First Class Igwe's have been invited for this occasion? Do you know that the Southwest Obas have all been invited for this occasion? Do you know that all the emirs from the North have been invited for this occasion? And somebody wakes up to say it will be suspended indefinitely? No, you're joking. Akukale, I am not joking. I cannot joke with a matter as serious as uh, position of Igwe, of Omodi. I delivered a message as I got it from Ezemo, as he got it from the gods. If you still doubt this message, you can go ahead and crown yourself the king and bear the consequences that follow. I am only a messenger. I have to go now, Akalia. Akalia. God. Izuogo, come to my house immediately. It is very urgent. Leave whatever you're doing. Come right away.
what their gym is. Okay. Yeah, we will talk. Don't worry. I'm, 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 you are you are you are my page. You are our regent. Yes. But what you say is law. You are our regent. Ah, I got my full year. Ah, okay. I got my full year. No Buddha. Ah, don't worry. Yes. Please. I will make sure that you know that our confidence is supposed to make sure you that he has his title. That was no matter. He can trust me. He can trust me. I know my colleague here. If I want to leave here, you'll be invited. I will leave here. I'll come now that halfway. I'll come now that halfway. I know. So, don't let the cat out of the bar. Hmm? Yes. 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 So, I have been suspecting Unowu's closeness to Ndoka in recent times. How do we know that Ezemo came to his house? Who else was there? The, uh, Ako, nobody is sure of anything. The problem is that these two men, Ndoka and Unowu, Fuck and higher. They had the problem with this community. Funny, it may be fair. I want you to go to Zama's house immediately to confirm this message. If it turns out to be false, I will personally strangle Ono with my hands. Immediately, I become the Igwe. He will be deposed. You become the Ono. So start seeing yourself as Ono. Who is not for me is against me and has to end up. Uh, thank you, Ako. Uh, uh, but there's a small uh, problem. The SMO does not divulge any information concerning the Igwe to anybody except the Ono, unless all the others go there as one. Uh, very simple. Move all the elders there as one. Move immediately. Mm. Mm. It's simple now. Yeah. Five hundred thousand naira for logistics. We must see where this Uno Wu sabotage is coming from and nip it in the bud. Um, Igwe, um, your, your Majesty, Your Highness. In fact, consider it done. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will start immediately. Mm. Tell me, how do you hope to deal with stubborn girls like Ndoka and Okaf? Um, Your Majesty, leave leave that to me. I will I will I will I will deal with them. Mm? Your Majesty, Igwe, Your Highness, um, Igwe, Your Highness. Mm. Don't worry, consider it done. Hmm. I'm also I'm also satisfied. Mm. Rice is good. Uh, um. So um. Zero. Mm -hmm. Ako, Ako Kalia, mm. give me 100,000 naira to share among the elders for what I just told you. Uh, but I reasoned that if I do as he says, I took a siega, it will not be meaningful. Eh? Uh, we'll be going home with peanuts. So, I thought of something. Mm? So, I decided. To split it into half. This is fifty thousand naira. Your own share. Only me. Only you. Mungwa is a low one. Go on. Mungwa is a low one. Yes. Has this money? Yes. I'm the one that have this money. He gave it to me. Fifty thousand. Equal partnership. 
You take 50, I take 50. You know what? Mm. Mm. Yes, so if you agree to what I've said, uh, there's no need to go for any consultation. We will go and tell her, this is the situation. Once you agree, we will not have any problem. <laughs> Whatever you told me to do, I will do it. Eh? If it's him, eh? And then, eh, who am I? <laughs> I've already agreed before you ask me. If I did go. Hey! I'm going to be good, can you know? Hmm. If you want more drink, it, if, even if you want a more stock fish, my wife will bring. No, 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 I'm satisfied. I'm okay. Ah, I brought these things for you and I. Hey, hello, Bubu. Get to finish me. Zero. You sure go no way? Imani fu go da wu, ige ma go da wu. Onye mana geme, osi se ne la nyo ne da. Ne me ka wa maduka, mwa ka mwa. Ne me ka tika na, o ka mwa na muro go do do wu na mi le ka go go do ne wa ni yo. Kingdom, Kingdom, Between both of you, who is Ifama and Anna here? Hi, I'm Ifama. All right, we are the 30s from police headquarters. Okay. Your name appeared in the recent bank fraud we have. You have to follow us to the station and get yourself cleared. Fraud? How? How? I don't understand. When you get to the station, you clear yourself. I don't. Station. Oh, officer, please, my friend cannot be involved in such a house. Are you a co conspirator? No, no. So, why are you defending her? Sir, please, can, can I at least call my manager? We don't have time for all this. When you get there, you can call whoever you want to call. Miss Ifoma Ibeneme, do you remember me? Yes, Mr. Tigana. Yes, I deposited some money in your microfinance bank some time ago. I know, sir, but. I didn't tamper with your account. Why am I being arrested? We'll find out when you get to the station. If you clear yourself, you can leave. Let's go. Move it. I don't want to drink. Sir, please. I just want to clear my name first. I'm a foundation staff of the bank and I've never been found one thing. Sir, please. Can I have the documents so I can clear my names? Please, sir. Please. You'll get the documents. For sure. 
But first, I would like to ask you a few questions. Apart from the day we met in your bank when I came to deposit money, do you remember any other encounter with me? Yes, sir. I, I remember your mom's burial. A lot of people were spraying plenty of money. People even came with a lot of cows. That's not what I'm talking about. Personal encounter, I mean. No, sir. I can't remember anything. Really? Fraud in the bank. Hey! Why are you screaming? Fraud! I knew it. I knew that if Fomai was always slow poison, I was pretending to be self-righteous, but then she is the devil. I knew it. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. If Foma has nothing to do with this, she wasn't even the one that was accused, but why was she arrested? Kelechi, why was your friend being arrested? Huh? It was a false accusation. It was a false accusation. Hey. What kind of false accusation? Eh? That young, tall, sexy, nice man I saw will never accuse anybody falsely. Really? Yes. She committed an offense and she's been arrested. I'm afraid she should go to jail. Yes. A shagara in this village is too much. Always carrying her shoulder up. Behaving as if she's the first person that works in the bank. Cynthia, microfinance bank at that. What is your problem with Ifoma? Why are you always bitter about her? She what is too arrogant and self-righteous. Holier than thou, but with a wicked heart. No wonder. Ojinake abandoned her and married pretty Adora. <laughs> <laughs> and you have been her friend all along. And you're even mocking her with something that happened to her. So you're happy about it. Aww. Huh, Sai. What could I have done? I was just managing her as my friend. You know, I was thinking that she would change. But no, she goes worse by the day. And now, <laughs> Kama has cut her with that. <laughs> Kama! I don't agree with you. If Oma cannot do that, if Oma didn't do it, why would you agree with me? Huh? When you are busy enjoying the money she stole from the bank. I won't take that from you. I will not have you say rubbish about me. Did you hear me? What's even wrong with you? Slow down, my friend. Slow down. You know, the truth is always bitter. Very bitter. <laughs> but let me tell you something. Just a piece of advice, my friend. Be careful before they come and handcuff you too. What is even wrong with this girl? Well, I don't blame you. I blame you for my mother that made you a, a friend. Rubbish. The day I came to your bank to deposit money and I saw you, I kept saying that I know this person. I, I couldn't, I couldn't recollect, you know, where we met before, but I don't know. <laughs> I got back home, he kept on disturbing me until two days ago. I think I remembered clearly. And I started looking for you. I don't understand. Where was that? Many years ago. Then I was still serving my master. I was traveling to Lagos and I don't know what happened to me. I lost my money. I, I think I was robbed or something. You know, these pickpockets guys, they took my money, my, my wallet and my phone. I was stranded. I was crying. I tried to explain to the driver and the passengers there, but nobody believed me. But a young lady paid for me. You remember? Yes, I, I remember. That was um, 10 years ago. 
I was going to purchase my jam form in Lagos. Yes. I remember, I remember. The, the, the people there, nobody believed me. They, they, they thought I was a fraudster. But you volunteered to pay my transport. Yes. Yes. This voice. I remember. <laughs> Small word. Small word. Then you, <laughs> you were a teenager. And I remember you told me you were from this village, Umudi. Yeah. But I don't understand. Emeka Tigana. Is that really you? Oh, to the glory of the Almighty God, it's me. Good to see you again. I, when I came to your bank, I saw you. I said, I know this person. You know, kept on disturbing me. I said, I know, I know this lady. I, I just couldn't remember where I, where I met you. And then finally I recollected and here we are. First of all, let me apologize to you for coming to you the way I did. With the police and, you know, it looked as if I came to arrest you. The whole bank then uh, documents accusing you of fraud. It's all a prank. Believe me. You know what a prank is, right? Yes, it's all a prank. I came up with that so I can bring you to my house. I'm sorry. Oh my God, but really that was an expensive prank. Someone would have died or something. You're right, and I apologize. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. He's okay. <laughs> but I, I noticed something. All through, you were not rattled by the situation. I was actually, but when I saw you, I became more relaxed because I know you wouldn't hurt an innocent person. Really? Yeah. How did you know? People say you're kind and generous. Well, <laughs> now I'm blushing. <laughs> okay, so at least we've established that I cannot hurt you. Take your drink while we talk. Thank you. So, why do you bring me here? to propose to you. I don't understand. You're joking, right? You marry me. You're joking, right? Wonderful person, a very wonderful lady, and you deserve the best. Please marry me. Yes, I will marry you. It's just like a dream. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you. Chamel, bad news. We are coming from uh, Ezemo's place, and we've confirmed that it was Ezemo that told Ono that your coronation has to be suspended uh, for now. Uh, so uh, I tried to find out why it was uh, suspended, uh, mm -hmm. but Ezemo said that the gods have not uh, uh, told him anything. Uh, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, I didn't, I couldn't push further. I even went there with uh, two native files and yes. uh, two bags of yeah. two, two bags of yeah. Yes, uh, all the others went except for um, Ndoka, Ndoka, Ndoka. Ndoka for yes. They are the only ones that did not go with us. Uh, so um, uh, even the money you gave us was not enough. But I, yeah. I, we had to rally around to make sure that we got what you wanted. Uh, uh, that is the bad news. Uh, we tried our best because we, you know that if other than other, than other than man, if it profits you, it will profit yes. both of us. Um, Ichia, Ichia Kokai. Um, Igwe, Igwe. Oh, okay, Igwe. okay. Igwe, Echibago. Uh, you, you don't need to be bothered. 
Eh? This is just a temporary setback. Okay? And within a very short time, very soon, everything will be fine. Yes. It has been confirmed in the spirit and in the physical. Yes. It's done. Bam! It's done. It's all good. To be a king is not a daughter. If I could carry her, guy man, take it easy. To be a king is not a daughter. What is going on? How? Eh? Is it not you that told me that Ifoma was arrested? Eh? Mm -hmm. Is she not supposed to be in prison? Why are we now hearing that? She's getting married to Sigana. What's happening? Is she not supposed to be in prison? How can Sigana, Sigana of all people, marry someone that stole from him? Eh? What, 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 as a, what kind of story is this? She used Juju. I hope you don't suffocate with jealousy against Ifoma. I never told you such. What kind of nonsense is that? Eh? What's this one you're telling me now? I never told you anything like that, Cynthia. You were the one that twisted the whole story to suit your hatred for her. And you even went as far as telling people that she and her and robbery gang went to the bank and stole. Hey, uh hey! -huh. How dare you! Isn't that what you told me that I told her that? Eh? Huh? Isn't that what you told me that I have to tell her that? Am I the only one that's supposed to hear it? I never told you any such! You witch! It's your father. It's your family that is a witch. Kalechi is your family that is a witch. Ah! Huh? Look at this girl. Why are you denying? Something that you told me. Is it because this is backfired? Why are you denying it? I never knew you're this evil, Cynthia. I never told you such. What is wrong with you? Kelechi. It is your word against mine. Look at you. You want to use me and shine in this village. It will not work. Hmm. Look at this one. Brat like you. Really? <laughs> you have not seen the last of me. Then let's watch out. Look at this stupid guy. Stop talking around with me. Get... Come, 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 get that. Is that what you told me? You. Are you mad? You. You, you little rat, you will see. This girl is not look normal, though. Look at, look, at, look at this idiot. You want to come and lie? The words are not to tell people that you said it because I am bold. I am telling the word that I said it. Why are you deny your own? Get you. Why are you deny your own? Don't hurt me, I, are you? I, I, see, I'll kill this girl. Why are you deny your own? Look at you. Look at this joint. Lele, like you. You've not seen the last of me yet! You've not seen it! I swear you've not seen the last of me yet! I never knew your mother said I told you! I told you I'll get you! You you are you're talking when I'm talking! Are you seeing me? Huh? You, you, you're talking nonsense! Come! I'll catch you! Look at this with your death! You're talking nonsense! You don't know what you said! You don't know what you said! Huh? Yes, I am Cynthia! I am bold enough to tell people that I said it! They want to tell me that you say it. Look at all these pretenders. This is what I offer. You will see. Ah, what kind of nonsense is that? You lied. You lied against me. Ah, look at this idiot. You lied. You will see. Look at you. What's going on? 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 Um, we all know why we are gathered here. Ezemo has lifted the ban on the Igwe contest for our community. That is why I summoned this meeting so that uh, we can collectively nominate adopt and confirm a candidate to be the Igwe of Umudim community. They won. The floor is open. The floor is open for contributions. Um, oh no, you have spoken well. Um, there is no point in looking for a candidate because we already have one we have a candidate standing by a candidate that has given so much a candidate that has done so much for this community we are talking about chief 
akokalia akokalia na emelora as a matter of fact it will be an abomination to even consider comparing akokalia with someone else okay. what we should be talking about is to fix a new date so that akokalia will print fresh invitation cards and give to his friends uh, he has already wasted money on the other invitation cards and beer boards and all the things he has done. But it is so nothing. Oh, believe it. Let us fix a date. Give a baby. Izuago, one name, my good brother. You have spoken well. Uh, let for me, let us set a new date for the coronation of Akokaria as the Igwe of Umudim. Not so fast, the Lord. Akukalia is not the only one qualified to be Igwe. Uh -huh. And who else, if not Akukalia? Anytime, any day. Look at you. Look at what you're talking about. That boy in America, what does he know? We are talking about the culture and tradition of our people. Yes. We are talking about Igwe, the custodian of our people. In a Kuoku, in America, Ibi Igwe Abohe Igwe Club and Eba Krikata. Yeah. Talk some sense. That boy in America has done more for our community than your so-called. Candidate Akukalia, who came back from the city to exploit us. Taking over people's land, using police and army to intimidate our people. Mm -hmm. Nameka has revived our community hospital, our community school, and he is presently building a modern town hall and community center for us. Mm -hmm. Nameka has placed 50 of our brightest children on scholarship. And he has taken additional 10 to Lagos to train them in their business. Mm -hmm. What exactly has Akalia done for us? Apart from bribing some of our gullible minded elders to cause confusion mm -hmm. and thwart our collective will. Yes. We are talking about we are talking about tradition, not philanthropy. Am I not what has he done? No, 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 this is not a shouting uh, match. We are here for serious business. Um, it will be a matter of choice. It's about decision. It is not about um, fight or shouting. Please, let this not repeat. Is there anybody else who has an opinion on this matter? My fellow elders, we should all know that this is not a market women meeting, but meeting of honored people, honorable people. Let us compose and be what we are. Uh, yes, tradition and uh, uh, custom. Eh? They're all good. We have been in it. I lived and I grew up still it, but with nothing to show. But I want to let you know that this world is moving faster than we expected. Of which, if you don't meet up with it, you'll be dropped out. <laughs> Yesterday, it was analog. And today, what is it? Digital. If I may suggest... We need a very vibrant young man that can stand. If you call him in the night, he will come out. If it has to do with going to overseas, he will go for us. If he needs to see the president, he will go there to bring what belongs to us. 
And there is only one person I see that quality. And that is Nemeka. Stop campaigning! Oh, 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 well, in the absence of um, any other contribution or opinion on this matter, I want to make my position known. For so long, we have been trying to make Akukalia the Igwe of Umudim. Uh, but it did not work. It did not work, and it still has not worked. Within the period of suspension of this process, another candidate emerged the person of Nemeka. It appears the gods have a hand in this matter. If you ask me. So, what it means is that uh, as it stands, we have two candidates contesting for this position. On one hand, Chief Gabriel Akukalia. On the other hand, Nemeka Madoka. I do not want to be partial. Neither do I want to be partisan by virtue of my position. We are in a democracy now, are we not? Yes. Majority carries the vote. On the strength of that, I want to put this matter to vote. Are we agreed on it? Uh, let us vote. If you know that you want Chief Akokalia to become the next Igwe of Omudim, Obododike, indicate by raising up your hand. I don't know what I got to go. Um, as we can see, it is um, only two of us, Ichie Izo and Ichie Zerowa, who have voted for Akokalea. It is noted. Now, those of us who want Nemeka Madoka to become the next Igwe of our land, Umudim Obododike, please indicate by raising up your hands. The movie train! Sit down. Um, and I want to join my votes. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't be named. Oboro. That means seven of us Most. against two of us. <laughs> by this vote, by this vote, it means that Nietzsche, the kingmakers of Omodi, have unanimously voted and decided that Nemeka Madoka shall be the next Igwe of Umodim. And so shall it be. Isse! Isse! Umodim! Makan! Yeah! Umodim! Makan! Yeah! Umodim! Mwon! Yeah! Umodim! Zwam! Yeah! Umodim! Kachano! Yeah! Umodim! Umodim! Neonuka! Isse!
Ali ya kenegi. Ori na bamba na ya yo. Ori na bamba na ya yo. Ori na bamba na ya yo. Na meko dogu o. Na meko dogu o. Ebe na ebe ne poli bubegu. Ebe na ebe ne poli bubegu. O kanga mu ya kano. Hmm. Ome. Ije nu kan. Ija. Oya. Ija. O kome. Ije nu kan. Maya. 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 Ala beti ya. So this is what this is all about. All the schemings and machinations was geared towards depriving me of my God-given position. No. Never. Onyebo Tigana, a charlatan, a Yahoo boy, a ritualist, to become my own Igwe. Nebe ademieme. All you Ichies are nothing but a bunch of hungry dogs scavenging for food. I will fight this battle all by myself and still become the Igwe. Um, <clears throat> Ako, it is not our fault. Mm. Yeah? That's that boy. He bribed them. He, he gave them big money. Also, ego. He, he used money to confuse them. Yeah. That's the problem. Uh, um, but if you can uh, bring some money, even if it is half of half of what you he gave them, uh, we will try to con convince them to change their mind. It's all You put that in again. I can't give it. Get out of my house. All of you are the same. Isog is our alien. We are born in Ugo. And as for you, Tigana, whatever they call you, I will deal with you. You will not know what hit you. By the time I'm through with you, you'll be better dead. Isog alien. Isog alien. Opinions to take in all that. You're really a nice person, Ify. I know. <laughs> I don't understand. Please leave him to enjoy. Enjoy myself. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Ali. All right, I'll be back shortly. I want to go see the local government chairman, so we can discuss fixing the major road that leads to our village. Okay. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. Don't miss me too much. I won't. <laughs> Kelechi. Yes, sir. This is for you. All this for me? Yes, my wife told me uh, a lot of good things about you. Thank you deserve it. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes. Thank you. Thank and you're you. a nice man, too. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Take care of yourself. You too. <laughs> if you thank you so much, what would I have done without you? Nothing. Imagine 100 k all for me. <laughs> you deserve more, girl. Thank and thank you for being a good friend. Always. Always. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but you're looking good here. See you. <laughs> me. You. That is eating money now. Me that just I take know, his... I know. Hey, Kelechi. Thank you. Thank you. You will not forget your money. Forget <laughs> what? 100k. Hmm. At least you just can spare me of my day. <laughs> then, nah, not two of us. I go spray you in a small thing. My husband said our wedding will be the wedding of the millennium. Yes, yeah, so, and the title will be Igwe Wets Ife. Oh! And even the vice president will be in attendance. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> My girl is taking. Oh, I'm my happy for you. Taking. I know, right? I know. You see, every disappointment is a blessing. I keep telling you this, my dear. You know, I didn't know that God was actually preparing a better place for me. I swear. And I'm so happy. <laughs> do you remember when I was telling you about Odinaka? You were crying over him. I told you that God was preparing something very special for you. And now it has come to reality. I know, right? <laughs> Israel. 
Pomo, you know what? My problem is that people come in tens and twenties just to ask for assistance. And you know I have to attend to them and all. I know. <laughs> and I know you're equal to the task. Of course. Um, God really prepared you for this. I and know. I know you can handle it. Of course. So I just can. take your time and it's not really a big deal. Let me thank you. I really am. Yeah, I really add it. Don't tell me that for my which add it. He might as well go to the world. He got my word to go. When you're a man, I'm a man. 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 i am um, well, thank you. I haven't got time for such uh, frivolities now. I came to give uh, a very important message to you. First, I want you to consider it a great privilege that Akokalia Rapu be away be away. And um, never said that. I you see. These useless elders who are pushing you to be the Igwe, they don't mean well for you. They want to destroy you. I will advise you to step down from me. Support me with your contacts, your wealth, to become the Igwe instead of challenging me. Mm. Mm. <coughs> um, Chief, I'm not challenging you. I'm only obeying a divine mandate to serve our people. So you want to go ahead? Yes, I will go ahead. Not because I want to hurt you. Far from it. The people want me. The elders want me. So I'll serve them. <laughs> Let me make it clear to you. It's only the living that can become the Igwe. Chief, are you threatening me, Chief? I'm not a gentleman. I don't play fair. I have made many people disappear. Don't be counted in that number. All right. I see. Now I understand why even the gods have rejected you as well. Same way the people rejected you. Nobody wants you. You don't have leadership qualities. You have no business being king. What you're doing now is obsolete. Old tactics. Nobody does this anymore. Can get you into trouble. Look around you. I have gadgets here that just recorded everything you said. If I send it to the police, Chief, you'll go to jail. Believe me, if you doubt it, I can play it back for you right now. I'll advise you, Chief, don't do this again. Do not try it. I'm not a child. I did not get to this level by being stupid. I'm a very smart young man and I'm very rich. Very, very rich. I'm equal to the task. It means we'll go, Chief. It's we'll go. Do not try this again. Aquado Morfuma. Don't. small boy like the gun outsmart you. How could I have fallen into such a trap? Now, 
I can't do anything indirectly. Otherwise, that devilish gadget will be used against me. Hello, son. Listen, Nambe. I don't have money. Look, this Igwe thing is costing me a lot of money. I mean, are you not ashamed? People send money from abroad to their parents. Here we are sending you money. You follow them again. A young man like you, 28 years, and you, you just ask for money as we will pluck it from one tree. I am here working for this Igwe thing because when I get in, I'm going to make it hereditary so that you can become the next Igwe. So I mean, indirectly working for you. And here you are. Join other boys. Take a part-time job. Pay your school fees. Do things. Don't, I was not for this kind of nonsense again. Give me a good Darling, believe me, I do not like the way you just spoke to our son now. Like I don't how? like it. Like how? You should be encouraging this boy instead of making him feel hopeless, worthless, and useless. Ugo Madi, the worthless, hopeless, and useless. I should be speaking to a 28 year old boy like a motivational speaker. After spending millions of naira, spend it for his first degree, he studied a four year course in six years. I should be talking to him nicely, eh? And so, and so, all fingers are not equal. That is your old dictionary. You cost all this. I wanted my son to study here so that he can also understand my business so that I can take over. You wanted him abroad because your friend's children are abroad. Unnecessary, unhealthy, unrivaled competition. Look at what it has cost us. Honey, please. Honey, I don't know what you're talking about. All I'm trying to tell you is please. Look for money and give to this boy for his master's program. That's all. Ugo, ma, send him your own money. Eat your ego. Which money? Which money, I ask? When was the last time you gave me money in this house? Dick, head in Banaga. But say now. Say, the only thing that matters to you right now is just your contest about this Igwe. That's all. I don't have time for your petty statements. You are just like your son. Hmm? Look at it. I'm trying to get money. I place that my land at Amateur, 10 plus of it for sale. So I can be able to undo this boy. And here you are talking no no nonsense. Just hear yourself. Negodi. Ochiara, hear yourself. Just imagine what you said. You want to sell land to match a little boy. Namumbano. Odaba. I lent your father 2 million naira. He's not been able to take my call. So I made my call avoid. You should see me every day and start clapping. I built a house for your family. If not, who no Akarika Konobi? I hear you are talking nonsense. When I talk, you talk. You feel like they make No problem. No problem. Why don't you go to CNN and announce it? What you have been doing for me, your wife, and my family. Go and announce it. That's it. Oh. What have you ever done for anybody without using it against that person? I have gone to BBC already if you don't know. Mkwano. Yes. Gawa. You should look, let me tell you. Mm. You should be happy I pulled your family out of poverty. Uno Tasilo when you're not from Kunili. You should see me and start saying Jehovah bless this man for me. Here you are talking about money. Give me some accolades, woman, I'll be humble. I want some accolades. I don't blame you. Look at a boy who is now a full grown man who should take responsibility. Can't even pass one exam. Like trail and a push Volkswagen. First degree. Now, on a member, size degree. I can't even put it like that. What is it? Chifako Kadia. Chifuania. Take it easy. Do you believe I did it? Do you believe I'm a ritualist? That I'm a kidnapper? Do you? No. Never. If I did, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. 
So who do you think is behind this? Who else? If not Akokalia, or maybe some other criminals. But Akokalia and his acolytes want to pin it on you. The witness said she saw one of my boys there. How do we explain that? That is where I am confused. I tried to talk to that girl since yesterday. But she's always in Akokalia's house. Or with Izogo and Zeroa. Hmm. Something is going on. Something fishy is going on. Definitely. Those vultures are up to something. I will get to the root of it. I will get to the root of it. <sighs> I'll be traveling tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow. No, tomorrow morning. No. Not now. They will think you are running away. I have to go, it's urgent. You have nothing to worry about, Al. <clears throat> I'll be following up the case from there. And like I told you, I'll get to the root of it. Right? Just be strong for me. Please. Be very strong. Thank you so much for believing me. I'm innocent. And I know that with time, I will be vindicated. Okay, I'll be leaving now. All right, but be careful. Please, be careful. I know you are also a target for those evil men. Be careful. I know. So, I wish you safe journey, safe trip, journey messes. If you go tomorrow. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Cheer up. But don't panic, okay? Now I'll take care of it. Don't panic.
Yeah, hello. Commissioner. Oh, yes, yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yes, I have a little situation. There are a lot of boys in my house, yes. Yes, they are, they are at the gate. I don't know what the problem is there. They are causing uh, issues, commotion. They're threatening to burn my house. Please send your men to my house immediately. It's urgent right now, please. All right, thank you very much. Everything will be fine. I'll take care of it. have a divine revelation concerning becoming king of Umudim. I wouldn't be stressing myself over this. Believe me. When I have enough money, people, enough activities to keep me happy for the rest of my life, why would I be bothering myself about this? Why? Sweetheart, do not let this weigh you down. You know what they say, many are afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them from them all. My problem right now is my name. How do I clear my name from this mess? How? Babe, the Bible says that sorrow might endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. People are jealous of you. I would do anything just to destroy you. But you know what? God will vindicate you. Trust me. I know this must be the handwork of Akokalia, that evil man. <laughs> he is not as guilty as Cynthia on this matter. Yes. How do you mean? Cynthia has always seen me as an enemy. I would do anything just to hurt me. Cynthia, your friend? Yes. Well, you guys are friends. I know. But she's not as good as Kelichi. I realized that of late and started putting her at arm's length. Hmm. You know, when we got married, she said a lot of things about me that got me frightened. So, dear, if you're looking for a finger to point at, look towards her direction. I believe she holds a key to this puzzle. Yeah, she does. <sighs> Babe, see, everything will be fine, okay? Just calm down, all right? Darling, I know. before you traveled, you told me that when you come back again, okay. that we'll have a court's wedding. And then you will take me to America. So why are you saying all this now? Oh, honey, nothing has changed. It's, it's just a fast one. I just want to quickly rush back to the States and fix up one or two things. And it, December is just a few few months away from now. By December, I'll be back and we can... No way, Odinaka! You cannot go back to America with Tatsumi. That is not the agreement. No, honey. But your papers are not out yet. Oh, please, don't even tell me that. How can you marry me, a princess like me, and then you want to dump me here and be going and coming back from America with Tatsumi? It is not going to work, Odenaka. Honey, it's business. This is strictly business. You told me you're doing your own business. Yes, I am doing my own business. So why can't you stay back and do it through the internet? 
will not understand. I will not understand anything that will make me stay back in this town or even this country while you go back to America. Or the like you want to disgrace me. You want people to mock me. What will my friends, what will my people say? Those that just, what are they going to say? Odinaka, you seem to forget that I am a princess. <laughs> Which kind of wahala be this one? Me, wahala. No, honey, 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 that's, that's not how I mean it. No, how do you mean it? What are you trying to tell me? You want to fool me? Can you calm down? I will not calm down. Please. I will not calm down. You're raising your I will raise my voice. Let everybody hear the nonsense that you're talking about. That I and you stay back. Me, Adora. I, I didn't say. No, you, you think I'm a fool? Do you think I'm a fool? No one messes with me and goes scotch free. Yes, I'm talking about your friend. If he had married me, he wouldn't be going through all those things that he's going through. Instead, he decided to dump me and married a local girl. <laughs> well, it's mere accusation. Anyone can be accused. Oh, really? Everybody cannot be accused. When he was with me, I could sniff trouble from afar and prevent it from happening. You know why? Because I'm learned and streetwise. I think some guys are just so foolish. Atigena is among them. Mm -mm. Tijana is not stupid. Uh, he is not foolish. Tijana is a good man. I know him. He's an honorable man and the best species of men I've met in this life. Says who? Story. Well, I advise you move on with your life. Because he has done the same. Did I tell you I haven't? I'm ju I just heard the trending stories. I'm commenting on it. I know my friend, Tijana. It's a minor thing he will overcome his challenges, son. I knew you would support him. I suspected you were the one who advised him not to get married to me. Short, quit it. Don't quit at me. You and your friend are very wicked. And I'm so happy he will bite the dust. Nonsense. Wow, Cynthia, Cynthia, the girl of the moment. How surprised of me bumping into you immediately I just entered this town. You look astonishing. Hmm. Who are you and why are you so happy seeing me? My name is Maxwell. Max for short. I'm the journalist from Scoop magazine. I'm sure you must have read about it. Yeah, of course. Scoop is very popular. Yeah, the story of how you expose one Mr. Tegana has been everywhere and my company sent me to interview you. And the story is going to be in the front page of the magazine and your picture is going to be everywhere. I mean, <laughs> everywhere. Wait, did you say I since I'm going to be in magazine? Not just the magazine, I mean in front page of the magazine. So which means... Your picture is going to be everywhere and everybody's going to see you. Both <laughs> America, Germany, China, everywhere. Let's go somewhere so that we can settle down. So I can interview you and take proper photograph. Like, like am I okay? Like, my dressing, uh, no, no, my no, hair, is good? it? Am, oh, I, am whoa, I okay whoa. like this? Wait, like, you, you... I need to fix my nails. <laughs> you are okay like this. You are okay. You are... I, are you, you sure? You are, you are, you are perfect. Are you, you are, sure? You are okay. So, can we go now? <laughs> My nails. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's nice. You're good. You're good. Let's go. We should go. After you. Sure, sure, sure. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't wow. Thank you. Thank you. How many times am I going to explain this to you that your papers 
and your passport cannot be ready this soon. Please, just hang on. Can you just hang on a little, please, my love? Odinaka, listen to me. The only way this thing can work is for you to take me to Lagos, rent a very good apartment for me in a very good area like, like Lekki. And hey, I can stay there and be waiting for you, not in this local village. But honey, our village is not local. We have good roads, electricity and water, even internet. The money we we'll use in hiring a house in Lagos, we can use it to do more important things in our life. Odinaka, so I am not important. Hey, Adora, you have suffered. You think I don't know? You promised to get your mother a car, to be taken around the village. But me, your wife, the princess of Mudikido, I am not good for something better. Hey! How did I get married to this man? How did I end up with you? Honey, can you calm down? Can you, can you stop this drama, please? Odinaka, you are calling my pains drama. No, 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 you are calling my pains drama. That's not what I'm saying, honey. Then what are you saying? Fine, I'll take you to Lagos, okay? I'll get the house and I'll furnish it to your standard, to your taste. Are you happy now? And a car, a very good car. Yes, I cannot be trekking and jumping from one taxi to, to bus. Honey, you don't, but honey, you don't have anywhere to go with a car now. Says who? Listen, is it that you get me a very good car with freezing AC or you forget about this whole thing? Ah! I cannot be riding in good cars in my father's house and then I will come to my husband's house and be trekking. Who does that? Don't even treat them. It's okay, it's okay. Okay? Would that make you happy? For now, yes. Ah, come here. Can you please? Oh, my baby girl. My sugar. Then why, why were you stressing me? Eh? Beautiful. Thank you. Um, this sh you should keep this a secret, so that when the magazine comes out, <clears throat> it will take everybody by surprise. Mm. I understand. <laughs> you see all these jealous girls in this village. <laughs> I bet you they will eat up their hearts by the time they see me in international magazine. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank you so you know, much. One big man, or even the president of America can invite you to come and live in America. Is that possible? Very possible. You see all these Oyibo people? Eh? Once they notice a smart talent like this, they give you visa immediately. Wow, so I'm smart. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait. I can't wait. Eh? It will happen, babe. But don't forget me when the time comes. Mm, so. I will die. How <laughs> eh? would I forget you? <laughs> One more thing. There is this man that's supposed to be the Iwe of this community. I want to interview him. Oh, Chief Akokalea. Exactly. I'll take it to him. I'm sure he would love to be in this international magazine. <laughs> but can we go now? The earlier, the better. Of course, yes. Because I'll be going back to the city this Saturday. Aww, so soon. Yes. Mm, I love to see this face thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because of you, I'll be coming back every now and then to mm. check up on you. Max, oh. promise me. Don't just throw it away. I promise. Ah, oh, I promise. Okay. Come on, let's go. Max. Come on. Mm, I don't want drink so cool. I will still go. Adonaka, what nonsense are you talking about? 
No, you mean you want to travel to America first before you send me money to get your house in Lagos? No, no, honey. I'm running low on cash. Mm. So all I'm asking for is just two weeks, honey. <laughs> two weeks and I'll send you the money you need. Odinaka, you lie. You think I'm a small girl? You want to deceive me? Listen, it's either you give me the money now or the both of us will stay back in this village. Yes. Listen, 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 listen. I'm listening for the very last time. I am tired of you. What is your problem? Since I got married to you, it's been one problem to the other. You nag and you stress at my life. You're up here. As a matter of fact, I'm not taking you to America. Not today, not tomorrow. It is women like you that go to America and they kill their husband. As a matter of fact, you're going to remain in this village with my mother and you bear your kids here. If I am too merciful on you, when you are due, I'll bring you abroad so my children can be American citizens. What is your problem? I am sick and tired of you. For God's sake, what's this? Odinaka, are you drunk or you're crazy? Are you blind? I am sober! <laughs> you want me, a princess, to stay back in this village for mother? Your father is not even the Igwe. You are just an ordinary girl. Look at you. The only difference is that you are, you are, you are just boastful and disrespectful. Just like your father. My father will hear of this. And I promise you, he will deal with you mercilessly. I promise you, he will deal with you. What, 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 he will deal with you. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Eh? Since I got married to you. Now so so. Now so so. Hey, God. Say Ndoka. Oh no. If you go to the house, you won't be able to go to the house. I'll tell you. We have done our best to get the right candidate to be our Igwe. But it appears the gods of our land have a different plan. Oh no. I am so, so discouraged and worried about the future of this town in the hands of Akokalia. Akokalia. He has been sending emissaries to my house here. Yes, several emissaries to convince me to convene a meeting to decide on a date for his coronation since he is now the sole candidate. But I've been avoiding him. I have been avoiding him, but um, as it is now, I doubt if I can't continue to avoid him. It appears I have to surrender and do the needful. You understand me? I understand. That is why I invited you to alert you beforehand that very soon I'm going to convene a meeting to choose a date. I understand. By virtue of your position, as you know, you are not supposed to be partisan. That is my point. That is my point. Uh, I'm afraid, you know, I will not attend any such meeting. Please, please, please pardon me. Mm, there's not, nothing to pardon. <laughs> uh, there's no offense there. I understand very well. I understand your position very well. It's a principled position. I understand it. Mm. Let's see how it goes. Oh, what about uh, Nemeka? How is he coping with all this? Mm, I have not seen him for a while. But we spoke on phone. And he said he was fine. He's fine, huh? Yes. I, <coughs> I hope so. <coughs> I hope so. Hey. I hope I really, really hope so. No. If any man. Or Joker. I don't know how this just came about. I just, I am confused. My dear, I am very happy to see you strong and focused. I have just come to tell you or to let you know that I do not believe the nonsense I hear about you because I know it is the handwork of the devil. 
your enemies are being used by the devil to discredit you but they must all fail in jesus name amen, amen. you see when i remember all you did for me and the hospital oh. The only person that remembered me when things were very, very rough for me. I remembered what you did for me. And I used that money judiciously. I was even trying to invite you to come and see things by yourself when this nonsense rumor came up. man's life, there will always be trying times, but I believe this period will pass and God in heaven that I serve will vindicate me. He must surely vindicate and protect you against the enemies Amen. and the agents of darkness. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Uh, please, uh, take your hand. Just forget about all these things for now. Naka left you. How? He has abandoned me. How? How did he abandon you? How? <laughs> oh my God, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Where are your things? <laughs> Solomon! Solomon! Where were you? I, I was eating. You were eating in Nege. Where were you when my daughter came in and dropped her expensive bags on the floor in her parlor? Now will you go and get those things before I redesign your face? I'm on It's alright. Come put yourself together. Come. Come get up. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. Not in my house. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Come. It's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. I don't understand this here story. The last time we spoke on phone, you said the man was preparing your papers for you to join him abroad. Now you come back with the story that he doesn't want you to join him again. I don't know for him, Daddy. He's a useless man. He doesn't love me. He wants me to go live with his useless mother in, in the village. A whole me. Prisoners of Umudi Kingdom. God forbid. Let's go, man. <laughs> The man has discovered who you are with your bad character and he has sent you packing. See, Daddy, why are you saying all this? Are you supporting him? I'm not supporting him, but I'm telling you the truth. Mm. Before you left here, I gave you every advice I could find in the books. Mm. But of course, you would not listen. Now the bubble has burst. 
Borok botol, kobala ni hui hina, hui hala ni anu. Eh, listen, there's no other space in this house. That's your room. Print it out. Go and reconcile with him. <laughs> I'll kill myself. Oh. I'm going to kill myself. I need to be on your head. Do you want a rope or a knife? We can't mother. Mommy! Mommy! I was saying it. You call me old names. Old man. Old school. What an old man sees standing. <laughs> Even when he's sitting, you cannot see it on an Iroko tree. Nguano melano. I want old school. Old school. I ain't here with every year. Let me see you come back here. You want to wear a dress that is not uh, of a good one. I talk to you. You say I'm an old man. Nguano melano. Old man, what a sense. When you share what? I'm a girl in a supermarket. I have waited for you indeed here to convene this meeting but you kept on procrastinating. That's why I decided to invite you to my house. I have suffered all manner of treachery, conspiracy since I declared interest in being the Igwe of this community. Well, Stones, pebbles, even ions have been thrown at me for this declaration. But my God has been fighting my fight. And as they say in our local parlance, the breeze has blown. We now see that the Reverend wears a trouser under the cassock. One small boy called Tigana comes with blood money. And you all start inching to his side. <laughs> I look around me. Ndoka and Okafo. They are not here. And I am not surprised. But I assure you, I will deal with them appropriately when the time comes. And the time will come soonest. Right on, <laughs> my God anointed leader. Eh? <laughs> it's a question. Akokaria. Hmm? Look at that. My kid and kin, all these years, if you cry, I cry. You smile, I smile. When you lead, it's a no lead. When you lead, it's a no lead. The water you drink in this same community is what I drink. I have contributed more than any other person to the development of our community. And then one criminal element called Emeka Tigana comes in with blood money. You all abandoned me to follow him. On Adenoma. But, huh? but our ancestors have their hands on this head and they have vindicated me. <clears throat> Chief Akukalia, have you invited us here to insult and humiliate us or what? Oh no. I have invited you to tell you the home truth. It is obvious, even to the blind man, that you don't like me. And you will never wish that I become the Igwe of this community. But that's a talk for another day. I have invited you, Umunem Umunem. To pick a new date and coronate me as the Igwe of this community. What are we waiting for? Chief Akukalia. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. To be a king is not a daughter. Chief Akukalia. Chief Akukalia. What is the matter? Nameka called me. I asked both of us to come to Akukalia's house urgently. Akukalia's house? What for? I have no idea. But he first asked me if we are part of the meeting going on there in Akukalia's house. And I said no. He said we should leave whatever we are doing and come down 
to Akalia's house urgently. That something very important is about to happen. Something important? And he did not tell you what is it that is about to happen? No, he did not. But he sounded confident and urgent. In that case, let's go. I trust that young man. Anytime, any day. Me too. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Ako. Um, Ono, I respect you so much. But it is said that a man who's been admired should not rub charcoal or sand on his face. Meaning, I am disappointed that you and Ondoka would conspire to try to rubbish Akokalia. You owe Akokalia an apology, you know. What? Oh, you are right. Thank God you're all here today to witness what's about to happen. I've been wrongly accused of kidnapping a little girl. I've been insulted, I've been mocked, and I've been almost ostracized from our village. I tried to plead my innocence, but nobody wants to listen to me. But I thank God for a day like this, because evil can only thrive, but for a little while. What's this nonsense all about? How dare you disrupt the meeting of Ndichi of Ndem? Because you can bribe the police? Akokalia, shut up, I'm still talking. Hey! You dare ask me, Igwe in waiting, to shut up? In my own house? Before my own people? What an abomination! Akokalia, shut up and sit down, I'm still talking. If you dare address me in that manner again, I will strike! Oh. You cannot do that in my presence. We are here at the instance of the Inspector General of Police. We have investigated the case of Kidna, and possible murder of one Ozioma Adichie. Now we have come out with something the whole community would like to see and hear. Sergeant! Sir! Bring the suspect. Police van. Yes. Jesus, I have phobia for police. Mommy, I, I, I think they're over there. Hmm? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. You sit here. Do you know this man? Yes. Can you tell us his involvement in the kidnap of one of them? It was. Chief Akukalia that asked me to bring out my friend so that they would kidnap her and I would spread the fake news that they would say it's Tigana that did it. 
How much did Chief Akokalia pay you to do the job? 50k. That's a lie. Lie from the pit of hell. Where and when did I meet you to make such preparations? Say that now, I... Hey, there's no need for this, Chief. We have done our investigation. We have it before we arrested her and other culprits. Yes. Sergeant. Sir. Bring Corporal Maswa. It was that night. He sent his boys to bring the money. And they brought it. I'm sorry. You never advised him. Oh, you should have advised him first. Are you not his wife? You are his daughter. And you look like him. No, I don't look like him. You won't such a Are you mad? Look what you should take Did I say that? Kokalia, I hope you have seen this young man before. Cynthia's new boyfriend. He came to you to interview you. Uh, he's an investigative police officer. He has everything on record. The deal between you, your dogs, and Cynthia. All the midnight discussion and all that, he has it on record. Chief Akokalia, you knew very well that Cynthia was envious of a film. For getting married to Tigana, and you cashed into him to do what you did. And um, by the way, where is the Ozioma? The girl that was kidnapped. She's somewhere. Where is so where's the somewhere? Somewhere in the Where? We want to know. The next village. Is she alive or dead? She's alive. <laughs> Good for you. Tifa Kokalia, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. For anything you say here may be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to announce Tony. Now, move. This is amazing. So this is what has been happening behind the scenes. Oh, you're such a wonderful young man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The gentle squires of the leopard is no cowardice. Let's go. Let's go. Let us follow up on this. Onye mano game, osi se ne la nyo ne da. Ne meka wa maduka, wa ka wa. Ne meka tikana, o ka wa na muro bodo. Do gu na mi le ka gu bodo ne wa ni yo. Omo tim kingdom, omo tim kingdom, wa ka wa ka wa. Hey, wa na yesu, o bele wa na yesu. Omo tim kingdom, omo tim kingdom, ne meka tikana bodo gu, wa ka wa ka wa. Hey. Let me let you see the fuzzle. You my boy, I'm on. Hey, let me catch you again. You my boy, I'm on. I'm feeling one of you. You my boy, I'm on. I don't want to be let go. You my boy, I'm on. Hey, you're not my girl. You my boy, I'm on. I call you sexy, but I'm playing. You my boy, I'm on. You just want to get in a bed, yeah. You my boy, I'm on. Your name is Pascule Dodo. You my boy, I'm on. Oh, but I can't let go. Oh, but I can't let go. Yeah, I'm on the kingdom. I'm on the kingdom. Hey, 